Here we go. This is where the magic happens, where you can ask anything. Don't be shy. In fact, the more intimate, the better. From matters of the heart to all your juicy parts, anything goes. Oh, my God. Because Mo knows. Yes, Mo knows. Mo knows. Oh, Mo knows. Check, check, check. One, two. Test one, two. Check one, two. Test one, two. Broadcasting live from Manila, Philippines at the Smart Bro Studios, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by San Mig Light. Oh, yeah! And here he is, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. Yes, podcast time. Wow, am I excited for this. It is a Monday night here in Manila, if that's where you're uh, tuning in from. Welcome to the show. I missed you guys over the weekend. That's what you usually do when you have a new baby. Of a program, you miss it when you do when you're off a day or two. Missed all of you, so thank you very much for being back here. If you're streaming live on motwista.com, we appreciate it. The phone calls six five nine six nine six nine. They're gonna be coming in. They're busy right now, but keep trying because we got two hours of all of your calls, all your problems, love, sex, life, whatever it is. Get on the program. We're giving away some shit, too, for you guys, as well as a chance at a BlackBerry LCD TV, as well as San McLight stuff. I think we have van shoes, if I'm not mistaken. I, I don't know. I'll f- confirm that with um, Casey in just a little bit. Let me say hi to, to our co-host, Dr. Gan. What's going on, brother? Hi, Mo. How are you? Um, fine. How was your day? Restful weekend. Really? You? Anybody die? No, no. I um, saw you earlier in, in your show. Oh, in Wheeling Wheelie? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Tagalog's getting good. Well... Yeah, I, I, I'd say so. I'm not, I'm not learning from anything in particular, but just being on the program and absorbing it. I've been in the country well over 20 years, mm-hmm. so I'm pretty. Um, I'm a disgrace <laughs> to, uh, to 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 the language, but uh, it's it's getting there. Only finally now is it getting there. And it's speaking good. of disgrace, the language. Jeez, my brother at arms at that. Okay. But but I'm more than disgrace because I've been here like a whole 10 years longer than he has. I mean, on the program today, DJ, television host, model. And at one time, half of probably the best looking brothers in all of in all of the Philippines. But then both of you are getting old already, and you're bald, and your brother's married. It's it's gone really tanked off the ground now. But 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 still, Casey Montero on the show. What's up, brother? Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. See, that's the Yeah, Casey has been here. Uh, he's known about the podcast for a long time. Uh, he was here. I was telling him about it while while, while this room was still just a piece of shit. And um, it is nice to have you here, brother. I appreciate you being. And and I'm not here just to guest you. I'm here to ask you on the days where I'm I can't do this program if you can sub in for me. Sweet, I yeah. totally will take that job. Do can I can I change the name just for a little bit? You can change it for fucking okay, next Friday. I will be in Bangkok. If you're free, I'm inviting you to be here. You're the top guy on my list. Mark Nelson's number two. Mark has already said that he would do it. But I would I trust my life with you because you and I have traveled together. We've gone to sh- we've gone through shit together. We have. And we, thing, we sh- should we have like a Tagalog like competition? Me and Mark. I mean, well, no, because you, I think you're still far superior than Mark is. So I, then let's not. Then let's just let no. I know. I'll definitely go with. I just don't know if you're you're free. Like you're, you're, you're the first guy on the list. And then if you're not free, then I go Mark Nelson. I will if be free. free. I go. I will be free. Fucking eight. Let's You're do this. Pep how, Eleven, baby. How long have you guys known each other? Ooh, I think since he's about just about his uh, when you kind of just arrived, right? Yeah, about when you arrived into the country. Yep. Yeah, so we'd be uh, porking out twelve years. Mm-hmm. So no comparing of you know sizes. No, but I've heard his brother has the biggest dick of all time. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> is, is it really? <laughs> Troy, we're talking about Troy. It sucks it's, so it's, bad. Because <laughs> I know it and everybody talks about it. It's fucking asshole, man. I, I got looks. I got, yeah. the, I got the... Oh, I, sorry. We put it right in. Uh, yeah, there oh, you go. Put it yeah, right yeah, up yeah, into yeah, my mouth? Yeah, yeah. But what are you talking about? Yeah, we're talking... Right. Micro- but your, is your brother's penis as big as that microphone? Uh, I, I, yeah, I would believe it is. I don't, maybe we should ask Aubrey. No, when's the last time you saw Troy naked? Uh... I actually haven't had to see him naked. My mom actually brags about the size of his wang, and it's no pretty disgusting. No way, dude. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's been blessed with a lot of things: good looks, no, full no, head no, of hair. No, no, no. You're both. Both of you are really good. Fine, he's better looking, but you're still and a horse re- wiener. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but I heard fucking penises. Mo, his breaks. his dick is bigger than your whole body. I, 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 <laughs> no, it's it's sincere. It's the first time that I've ever heard of a guy whose penis is as big as a baby's leg. No, and a, mm-hmm. and a big fat baby, <laughs> like a grown baby, like a forty year old baby. Oh man! And then what were you blessed? With? I mean, be honest. I mean, height. <laughs> I'm just tall. The height. Just the height. No, because I'm I, tall. I know God. I know girls who've had sex with you. 
And I've spoken to girls who have what? had sex. Yes, absolutely. They've had sex. And I know they've had sex because you've told me you've had sex with them. And then I went on to interview <laughs> them immediately about having sex with you. So how'd I do? And, well, they said you're all right <laughs> if you were so damn drunk. A, okay, yeah, well. But B, there was never anything about the penis size. Not like your brother. Girls, I've, I fucking girls I've interviewed, I'm like, you had sex with Troy Montero? Yeah, what happened? <laughs> it's frightening. It's well. fucking huge. And I'm like, how come nobody ever says that about Casey? So when, when, like, when he um, zips his pants, it's like... <laughs> Yeah, it just falls on the ground. Holy fuck. <laughs> what is that ground. thing? What is that thing? Wow. It's, got, it's got a face and shit on it. Wow. It wears headphones. It sucks to be you, Casey. It sucks to be, uh, but, damn but, it, Mo. But you know, yeah, at least Bacchiao likes you. <laughs> at least. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah that I, means. to hang with champs. means a lot. Yeah. All right. So 659 6969. That's our phone number. We are going to be taking scraps. calls all night long. Plus, we're on Skype at um, Good Times with Mo. Podcast. If you're on Skype, you can go ahead and call us from every, anywhere around the world. We get taken international calls uh, by like just tons of calls from abroad recently, and we're going to keep that going tonight. Most especially um, from fucking India, which I don't get. But we'll t- our first Hello, caller, there. our first caller off uh, abroad is coming from India. He's on hold right now, so we'll get to him in just a little bit. Can I say something real quick? Yeah. So I like how the opening was uh, us talking about my brother's cock. Yeah, well, sorry. You know, hey, welcome to the show, Casey. Yeah. Your brother's got a huge dick. Yeah, what happened Thanks to for you? coming in. <laughs> That's right. Just what the fuck's your problem, buddy? I wanted you to know that. <laughs> Today, uh, the show is sponsored by Fuck. By yeah. Way. All right. So this this program, of course, is brought to you by San Mig Light. It is powered by Smart Bro here at the Smart Bro Studios. Everybody who calls the show wins a Philips Go Gear MP3 player by Tradeport.com.ph. I just got great news from Tradeport this morning. They said they want to give away 100,000 pesos cash. To one of our podcasters, or maybe it will split it up to two podcasters for fifty thousand. All you have to do is like them on Facebook. So look for tradeport.com.ph on Facebook. We will then just pick a random motherfucker to win either a hundred grand or I'll split it into with two fifty thousand bucks. Basically, the owner says, Mo, here's a hundred thousand. Go, go, go do whatever you want to do with it. But you ha- my thing is you have to like them on Facebook. So if I were you now, while you're listening to this show, I need you to like them. On Facebook immediately if you want to win 50 grand. Right. You're, you're, get, you're getting used to giving stuff away. We're fucking... Yeah, f- this is just charity <laughs> is, is what we're doing. All right. So tonight, BlackBerry phone, LCD TV, as well as um, some other stuff. You, have, you said a Vans? Vans, Vans. We got Wendell Vans here. He says that he'll give out some Vans Sweet. later on. So if you All want right. some shoes. So, Case, okay, so you ready? Yeah. Gan, are you ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's start. With our, they've all been on hold. We reset the system. So everybody's been on hold for well over 20 minutes. Let's start with... Let's go with a female, I'd say. Uh, Kim, you're 20. You're from uh, Pasig. 22. Sorry, 22, love. You're from my Pasig. Bad. What's up? Don't talk about my brother. Huh? Don't Hello? talk about my brother. Yeah, what do you got? Oh, uh, am, am I on the air right yes, now? Yes, you are, my love. What's okay. up? Okay. Um, so here's my problem. I want um, to have longer sex with my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. So because, um, like, for example, in like three hours, we have... Um, two rounds of ten minutes each. In three hours. Yeah, in three so he, hours. Okay, so first of all, obviously, the first ten minutes is spent on round one because you're not yeah. just going to be staring at each other. Uh-huh. So you have a refractionary period of two hours and fifty minutes. Uh huh. Why? You, you what are you doing? You're lying down naked watching Same. Avatar. What's going on? No, I he sleeps. He sleeps. Yeah. And then you wake him up after two hours for, for round two. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Yeah, I said you're lucky to get exactly that round two. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what do you want from him? You want him to last longer in yeah. round one, or do you want to have more sex generally? Um, It's more the duration. Like, can't he last, like, 20 minutes? In no. 20 minutes of two rounds, it's, like, good for me. Okay, no, 20 minutes is long, dear, for a guy, to ask for <laughs> one guy. Now, here's the thing. He, mm-hmm. he can obviously do things to you like oral sex, for, for for thirteen minutes, uh-huh. and then after that, he can go ahead and have sex with you on an average, which is about seven minutes for most guys. So, uh-huh. if you, what would you do? What do you like more? Do you like being inserted, or do you like a guy going down doing doing the oral mm, stuff? Both. No, I like both. Okay, if you like both equally, usually uh-huh. girls like the oral sex more. If you like it equally, what you want to do is then let him start you off with the oral sex. Uh-huh. Do that for like five minutes 
Then tell him to insert himself in you for another five minutes. Take uh-huh. it back out, back to the oral sex for fifteen minutes, uh, for five minutes, mm. and then back on top of you again mm. for another five minutes. And then boom, you're good for the twenty. And uh-huh. I, that's that's twenty yeah, minutes yeah, of you, straight yeah. pleasure. And when uh-huh. that doesn't work, you buy a, a dildo. Yeah, you can buy a vibrator and stuff Where? like that. But where again, mom? This is in uh, Metro. I, again, are, are oh. you? Do you fucking own that business? Why do you always ask the same goddamn question? I know question? where it's at. Yeah, See? the place is this like it's supposed to be like a like a medicine store, but then uh-huh. in the side, there's... no, 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 it's a full on sex shop. Oh, okay, yeah, it's right next to pussies and bitches. The uh, the, oh, okay. the pet shop. But anyway, you're talking about a different <laughs> shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Just so research only. W- what you got to do is you got to make sure you incorporate both of those things so you can get your 20 minutes straight mm. and he doesn't mm-hmm. have to come so fast. But you know, yeah. 10 minutes is not so bad. Really? Yes. And you're lucky to have both yeah, rounds, you the, know? The second round. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you good looking? I I think so. Yeah. All right. Well, listen. <laughs> Kim, another way is you can tell him to masturbate before you guys have sex. At least about... Yeah, I'd say I about, heard about that. Yeah, I about mean, t- I... 20 minutes, 30 minutes before you actually have sex. Tell him to masturbate. Or you can masturbate him up. and then make some food. And when you come back, uh-huh. he, should, he yeah, might so be ready. Yeah, he lasts longer the second round, right? Yeah, he will definitely last longer the second round. Mm-hmm. All right? Okay. Have you tried that yet? No. Yeah. Go ahead and try that first. Okay. And then let's see if he can last a good 20 minutes, all right? All right. Now, the erection might not as be as hard as you want it, uh-huh. but um, if you're not so uh, choosy, then you, you should be fine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No worries, love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And then, if, uh, <laughs> of course, this, if Tony Tony was here like he was the other man, I'm coming to your house. <laughs> right? Yeah. What's your name? Yeah. 659-6969. Let's go to our next call. Marco, you're 20. Basic. What's up? Okay. Hello? Yeah, Marco. What do you got going? Oh, I was wondering, uh, I'm just doing my CEO paper, and I need help. All right, what's up? Uh, I need to know uh, what, what the importance of uh, sexual chemistry is in, the mar- in a relationship, how, I'm, how big a role it plays. Casey, uh, you, you, you've always been a relationship guy. You, you're <laughs> actually one of the more uh, publicly, um, let's see, a lot of people know about your uh, past relationships. How important is the sexual compatibility in it? Um, sexual compatibility is uh, is very important, but it's not the end all of everything. Um, I was obviously I'm not one to really talk about great relationships working out because right, you know mine I, is least, very documented that right, it right. didn't work as, so but well. Just as relationships though go, I mean, because it, it seems like sexual compatibility can be learned, personality compatibility compatibility yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of can be learned, but it's not as given as as I mean, if it's fucked up in the beginning, it's it's gonna be it's hard. gonna be fucked up. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. So how important? Um, it's it's definitely important. You know, you should uh, you should sorry, you should uh, not want to. Let's, let's say, all right, me and man, it's kind of hard to talk about exes and uh, past because we all know who we're talking about. Yeah, so you and Geneva go. Uh, okay, <laughs> no. all right, all right. Well, <laughs> sorry, brother. You know, <laughs> Casey can't want to put it in the butt all the time. You know, <laughs> and, if she, and if and if she, you know, sexual compatibility is what we're talking about. Yeah. Okay, I'm just getting into my beer. By the way, thanks, Sammy Light. I love it. No worries. Um, sexual compatibility is, is is definitely a big thing. I feel because again, at the end of the day, you're laying next to this person. If uh, if you're not attracted to her, if you if you are not going to want to uh, knock boots with her, um, and if you are not also on the same tip, the way that you guys, let's say, uh, the way that you move in bed, the way that you toss each other around, kind uh, of the you, rhythm, shit yeah, like you have to know that. So if it's then it'll be like a first date all the time if if you don't have your sexual compatibility. Um, if you guys don't know what you want, because uh, right. we say this on the podcast a lot, both both sexes are in it to please. I'm I'm actually more driven to please my partner than for me to be pleased. And I think a lot of people are like that. If you're in a relationship, if you're not, if it's a casual sex thing or even some of you guys out there who get prostitutes, all you're in is for your orgasm. But when you're in a relationship, you want to please. And if you take that frame of mind to the bedroom with you and she takes that frame of mind to the bedroom with you, then compatibility should come, uh, no pun intended, should come with, with time, with experience, with learning each other's rhythm. And if it doesn't, after years or after months and months and months, then the sexual compatibility can ruin your relationship or the lack of compatibility will ruin your relationship. Marco? So how important? Like Very um, important. Very <laughs> Sorry, important. yeah. Did we, leave, did we leave you around? Yes, it's very, very, very important. important. As Casey said, not the, uh, not the deciding factor. Uh, initially whether you're going to crash and burn but it could definitely be the downfall of a relationship if you don't address it all right that means it's very important marco it means you have to be good at it 
if you want. Okay. Both I'll of you have to be best. good at it I'll for each best. other. All right? Awesome. All right. All right. Thanks, man. Bye bye. All right. Give me my prize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're my, my thing. Uh, six five nine six nine six nine. Let's go to a. Uh, oh, did we lose our guy from India? Oh shoot! I think we lost him. Hold on. Let's see if he's out there. I, he disconnected. Uh, let us see. Yeah, he's gone. Shit. We had a guy, Vic from from India. I, a question I wanted to ask him sincerely was, how? Why are we so popular in India? Every night we're taking calls from India, and I, I don't. I don't. I don't get it. But I, I'm. I'm. I'm happy that they're there because they're the second largest population in the world. But um, I, I, I'm dumbfounded at how popular we are over there. Let's go to our next call. Alvin, you're 18 from Manila. What's up? Alvin? Alvin? No? Simon, Theodore. That's him? Okay, let's go to our next caller. Marvin, you're Hello. 22. What's up? Hello. Yep. Hi. Hello, good evening. Hi. Hi, What's Marvin. Up? Marvin. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Marvin, let's go. You're on the show. I am on the show. Yes. Um, can I ask a question? You Marvin, five minutes this is where you on. ask the question. Um. <clears throat> okay, Marvin, we are disconnecting, and you've just uh, lost yourself, whatever you were trying to get here on the program. Uh, let's go to Richard. <laughs> You're 36. Richard, what's up? Hello. Hi. Hi, Mo. Yeah, what's going on? Hi. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say hi to everyone, and also to Casey. Casey, my man. What up? Douchebaggery. Douchebaggery. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what's going Casey, on? It's Aquarian for you. Oh, what's up, man? Okay. I uh, got a question for Casey. It's um, how, what's the longest time that you've been celibate? The longest time you've been celibate? Casey, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> without, <laughs> probably right now. And, and what are we really? talking about? <laughs> yeah. What are we talking about? Well, since I uh, got... Uh, separated with my wife, yeah. Ex, uh, there's, it's been pretty rusty in the in the Casey room. You mean, but but you can you can score a girl at will, though. I mean, just yeah, exactly. just, just yeah, just by the physical attributes and all that. Your job. Oh, now I can use my my brother. Yeah, you can, you can say, hey, runs of the family, and right. then all of a sudden, hey, hey, and then all that shit. But you were choosing not to have sex. Um, I, I got to be real careful. Why is that? Because uh, everybody falls in love with me. <laughs> just. Really? Yeah. It's like, I, you know, I've kind of been talking to a couple of people here. And without being like, I don't want a relationship right at this point. Um, and that's what happens. Now, just, just having sex with someone. <coughs> yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, it's right now. I'd say and what, about, are we look, what are we looking at here? A year? Eight months. Fucking eight, KC, really? Wow, eight months. Yeah. Eight months. <laughs> Until, so, unless I go to Cebu, so that's you, a different story. So, so you must be you must be oh, masturbating about in Manila. No, no, you must be masturbating like a like a champ. Though. Well, I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, yeah. I got what, all what, kinds of lotions. What do we do daily? What, what are we looking at here? Uh, but yeah, a daily will do. Daily, we're good. Yeah. And you remember that as we shake hands. Yeah, yeah. No, sincerely. All right. So it's been eight <laughs> months. I, I don't believe him, but but geez, that, that's uh, that's some um, that's that's good times, brother. Because I mean, if I had. If I was in your shoe, I, you must be lying to us, though. I, I, I just, I, I, exactly. I, I, yeah, must I can't be believe you. Uh, I'm not lying. Wow, eight months. Eight months. I'm not. I'm not lying. Even Doctor Gan and yeah. I, in our hideousness, physically, I mean, at least do better than that. I mean, you just—it it seems like you can find. I'm yourself. unicorn hunting. That's the deal. Yeah, but it seems like you can find yourself a girl who's willing to completely have sex with you without the relationship. I probably can, but see, I'm so picky with my women that I don't just want to take somebody home and and pork them. That's why maybe I'll have to drink a lot at night. But but when we were younger, you used to. Oh, I didn't care. I was just happy to have sex. Yeah, when we were younger, you were. I've I've had a lot of sex in my life. I don't need to just go out. What's the number? How many many people have you had sex with? Mm, Low 30s. Low 30s? Yeah. Solid. All right. Thanks for the call, man. Appreciate it. Bye bye. Right, if, if, if I was a fucking Montero, I would like not the car, but one of you brothers. <laughs> low thirty Jesus. since well, since you start fucking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so here's the deal though. 30s. Like I, I've never been single in this country. Ever. Okay, and this is the only time now. So this is the only time. So I'm I, I can uh, I can use my, my celebrityism <laughs> okay. a little bit. Brian twenty six, Kalohan, what's up? Oh uh, yeah. What do you got? Um I just have a question. This is where you ask it. And everyone, when, when we say, what do you got? Then just go right ahead. What's up? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, what, what if the girl wants to have sex and you're not in the mood? What do you do? You suck it up and you be a man and you have sex. Okay. Like, like if she wants to have sex with you, Brian, have sex with her. That, I mean, that's, 
it's just kind of like I mean if, if sure yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like it's just one of those things that you have to dedicate a certain amount of time to do for for, for somebody who for your for your partner I mean again you don't want to wash dishes you don't want to clean your car you don't want to clean your room or change underwear all of these things are a chore now if okay. it's unfortunate that you look at it if you ever look at it like shit I have to do this because my girlfriend wants sex is awesome of all yeah. the chores in the household this should be the fucking best one yeah it is yeah. it is the che- it is it is the best form of entertainment that costs nothing uh, you get give, what I mean gives you a lot of satisfaction right yeah, so you so Brian have to just do it okay what 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 if um um your cup doesn't stand up? If she puts her mouth around it, I guarantee you it will, it stand, will stand up. Stand up. Okay, <laughs> that was a good one. No, that's true. <laughs> it's not, yeah. it's not a it's not a quip or anything like that. It. life my wife and i are three years into the marriage yeah and uh it's kind of dwindling down all right you're uh 31 okay yep she's 27 sure um i don't know if it has something to do with her working at night or i don't know if i'm overreacting what or not. What, what what does she do what does she do as a uh, as a profession She's a collections officer. Um, she works for HSBC. Right. So she's kind of working the phones then in the yep, middle of the yep, night. All right. Phones, all right. Yes. And when you try to initiate sex, what happens? Um, sometimes I don't initiate it anymore because I'm just afraid that she might reject me. Cause okay. But but you can't you can't live like that. You can't have an assumed yeah, rejection. Don't assume. Yeah, when you know you guys are married, uh, it, of course it's going to dwindle. If you already in your head thinking that n- nothing's going to happen, that what's great about a marriage is mm. you th- you know you shouldn't be embarrassed to ask what's going on with, when it comes to your sex life. Even even in a in a in a relationship, a long term relationship, you can go, hey, listen. You know? Do you notice that we're not doing it anymore? And as you heard on the Mo podcast, a sexual <laughs> compatibility or the the frequency of sex is important to a relationship. Don't yeah. you think we should try a little bit more just so we don't grow apart? Yeah, when you're when you when you're married, it becomes a responsibility to each other. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. Yeah. I know, but if you're not ver- if you're yeah. not verbalizing, if you're not, not verbal. communicating that with with your wife, then how are you guys going to see eye to eye on this? But if you want something sexually, you have to tell her. Yeah, I do, but sometimes I just don't want to sound like I'm complaining. A girl? Start lowering your yeah. voice a little bit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You don't want to sound like you're complaining. No, you're not, because don't don't present it as complaining. Just well, say. How, li- how do I present it then? Like in a like, in a way that got worse. it's not going to sound like it's as bad well, as. Well, okay. First of all, d- lower the helium balloon. <laughs> That's the first hey, thing. Baby. Yeah, just go listen, babe. We've been married only. We've been married three years. You know, and I know. Let's be honest. You know that our sex life is going down. It's okay. dwindling. I'm in love with you. I don't like anyone else, and I'm st- super attracted to you still. It's a shame if we let this go away. Now, I would like maybe twice a week, if that's okay with you. What would you like? And then you guys just kind of bargain there. I mean, I know it sounds stupid, but you're in a marriage. Or if you if you're afraid to ask her, maybe you can initiate some movements. Like you know, you can do romances, kiss her in the back of the ears, get naked, you know? get naked. Yeah, it, it'll works. it'll tell her some, it'll send her some signals that hey, I want sex. And the thing is, you guys are not, let's not be naive. All you married mm-hmm. couples know that if you're not having sex regularly, your relationship might get fucked up. Yep. 
Everybody knows this is universal knowledge in whatever language or whatever. You know that if you don't have a regular, healthy sex life, that the chances of the relationship are, are uh, get you know going mm. down are, are very good. It's one of the reasons why well, that one of the partners would truly look for another one. Yeah, I think I think us men would know that. However, I don't think women would agree with if that. You, but look at you. You're scared. You're scared to even make a move. Make so, a move. Well, what that's do you your think wife. she's going to do? I know. That's your wife. She already said yes three years ago. That's right. She's married to you. Do you have kids? Yeah, we do. Okay. Um, and she... I, I noticed it kind of dwindled down after the, our first kid was born. Okay. Yeah, and that, that's, not, that's not shocking. That happens mm. a lot. Now, ha- is, she, is she under any medication? No. Okay. That's the thing. All right. What do you guys use as birth control? Do you have any? Um, just withdrawal. Withdrawal. All right. Normal stuff. Yeah. All right. What does she say when you try to when you try to initiate sex? Um, I think she says she's tired. That's that's mostly the answer I get. Okay. Well, look for a and time. It's getting you know to a point that it's a convenient excuse already. Okay, well, look for a time when she's not tired. All right, we'll just roll her over, go yeah. at it. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll just roll her over, yeah. go at it. You don't, hey, you know what? Say you don't even need to be here. Just lay here, uh-huh. take a nap, and let me go go to town. I'll pull out. Don't worry. She doesn't have to do anything. Yeah, yeah. just say, just be, just be quiet. Yeah, and then she'll go to her, sleep. Yeah, then she won't come home that night. All right, thanks <laughs> All right. for the call, Jay. Appreciate it. All right, All right. thank Have you, guys. One. No worries. Bye-bye. You're doing a good job. Thank, thank you, know. sir. Appreciate that. Bye. One last call before we take a break. RV, you've been on hold the longest. You're 23, Kazan City. What's up? Hello. Hi, RV. What's going on? Hi, Mo. Uh, I love the show. Thank you, dear. I love you that you love it. Um, I have a question. Um, uh, can I tell you the background story first? If you can do it in like three sentences, I'd appreciate it. Uh, okay. Um, I have this... Um, uh, boyfriend in college, pero nagiwalik kami. But before we broke up, nagkaroon siya ng ibang girlfriend. Pero, mm-hmm. um, bago, uh, nung nagiwalik na kami, parang nag-stick pa rin ako sa relationship. Parang nag-stick pa rin ako sa kanya. I, I'm always there for him kapag kailangan niya ako. Then, almost two years ago, um, sinabi niya sa kanya, nagiwalik na siya ng girlfriend niya. Tapos nakipagbalikan siya sa akin. Tapos parang ako, pumayag ako. At first, naniwala talaga akong nagiwalik na sila. Okay. But then, I realized trying, na, right? hindi talaga siya nagiwalik. Parang nagpapetend lang siya sa akin, nagiwalik na sila. Pero hindi talaga siya naghiwalay. Then, parang tiniis ko yun. Then, now, two years nang gano'n yung situation. Hanggang ngayon, hindi niya parang inaamin sa akin na sila. Pero parang alam ko na mas mali yung isang girl kaysa sa akin. Hindi ko lang alam that ako nag-stick pa sa kanya. Okay. Parang, yeah. Yeah. I want to move on yeah. na. Pero I, I, I can't. I don't know what's wrong with me. You Ay, are, okay, Arvi, Arvi, you, you suffer from something we've all gonna go, we're all gonna go through uh, one time or another. I've had a girlfriend who cheated on me and I still was willing to forgive her. I'm sure, Casey, you've had a girlfriend that's cheated on you or you've cheated on a girlfriend that was willing to forgive you as you, while you continued to cheat. Gan, you're probably the same. We've all been in that relationship where they do something wrong and yet we forgive them because we're stupid, right? Yes, Arvi, he's yep. an asshole. That's really, that's all it is. And when you were young in, 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 in elementary school or early high school, when you said, I'm going to get married, or I'm going to have a boyfriend, you don't picture him being an asshole. You want a nice guy. Everybody wants one. You're stuck with an asshole, you, with a douchebag. That should be the fueling force why you should get rid of this guy because he's been dangling you and another girl for two fucking years. It's like, it's like grow up, realize that this is bad for you. There's nothing you're going to get out of this ever. And you are the hottest now than you will ever be in your life at 23. From here, na papangit ka lang for the rest of your life. Do you want to spend the prime of your adulthood going after a guy who, who's, who's, who's banging both of you? No, pero parang, I don't know why, pero... I want to move on, but I don't know how. Yeah, you, you have to go through the pain. The reason why you don't want to move on for two reasons. A, you don't want to be lonely. Or B, it's going to hurt. Well, guess what? The only way you're going to move on from this asshole is if you suffer through both of them. Yeah. And it will always make you a better person. How many times have you had your heart broken? One. Just this guy? Yes. Yeah, uh, see? You have to go through at least three or four of those before you get married. Before you get smart. So, RV, take this as number one heartbreak, and guess what? Look forward to your next two or three heartbreaks. It's these experiences that makes you learn, you know, that teaches what you if, what to what do. What if wala na See, that's the problem. Oh, See, you're skipping Pucha, now. Listen, l- lady, even the ugliest of women can find mm-hmm. a guy. It doesn't work the other way mm-hmm. around. 
Kung yeah, yeah, yeah. sobrang pangit ka na lalaki, <laughs> guess what? There's a chance you're gonna be alone you're for fucking fuck. ever, right? <laughs> if you're a girl, a guy will put... Yes, if you're yes. a girl, a guy will fucking want you. Yes, Trust don't me. worry. You've got Trust a vagina, me. you've got... You're fucking a girl. KC has gone eight months without right. sex. I bet you right now he'll have sex with you. <laughs> Where do you live? <laughs> yeah, so so stop telling yourself you get that. I mean, Arby, mm-hmm. Women should never ever say that thing to themselves where yeah. they go, what if I don't find another guy? Mm-hmm. That's what guys say. Because we have we have to actually wow someone into into to being our partner. Females can just go announce. You could be the fattest fucking whale gorilla of a woman, and you go with one leg. Yeah, with one dude, sincerely, <laughs> and an eye, one eye. And you can go. Listen, I think I want to. I think I want to have a guy. I think I want to have sex. I think I want to do this. I think I want to do that. Okay. And you'll find a guy. Okay. Okay. All right, RV, and you'll find okay. a better guy than this guy. Okay. All right. Thank you, baby doll. Appreciate you can do it. All right. Bye bye. Good luck. Bye. Casey Montero is here on the program. I, I, I'm serious. Girls, listen. Here's what I say about ugly chicks, by the way, because maybe Arvi's ugly and she thinks that there's no way another guy would like her. This has nothing to do with our topic, Bo. But you know how there's really super hot girls? If you're an ugly girl and you look at another girl and you're like, shit, man, her life must be awesome. She's so pretty. She gets this and she gets that. You know how you can beat them at this game? Have more sex than them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. Just fuck a lot. Yeah, yeah. Just, just you see some super smoking hot girl. Let's just say she looks like Natalie Portman, and you're you look like fucking ugly Betty, even uglier, right? And you're like, man, Natalie Portman, she's got she's got this, she's got guys who like her, she's got all of these things. But guess what? I'm gonna have sex every day with a different guy for for the for a year. Here's, here's and at the end of the year, you win. Yeah. <laughs> like you know what? Even the ugly girls can actually have sex with some of the uh, guys that the hot girls are actually having sex That's right, with too. Because guys will bang yes. anything. You hear that? No, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. We have a Skype uh, account here. Good Times with Mo podcast if you want to get yourself on the show. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, Casey Montero here on the program. We'll take more of your phone calls at 659-6969. Dr. Gan, my name is Mo Twister. It's a Monday night on the podcast. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659-6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Si Marian at si Ding Dong, oh. Waiter, sa pangasan Meg Light bucket? Pare, anong pipiliin mo? Si Marian o abs ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o sports car ni Ding Dong? Pareho! Si Marian o Beach House ni Ding Dong? Pareho! Si Marian o Ding Dong? Pareho! Ay! <laughs> Maganda ang gabi pag masaya ang usapan at mahaba-haba ang inuman. Kaya dapat magkaan sa tiyan. San Mig Light! Drink moderate. Good Times with Mo the Podcast and Madrid Travel Club are giving away a trip for two to Japan. <laughs> To snowboard, enjoy authentic Japanese cuisine, see cherry blossoms, or experience the pandemonium of a mega city like Tokyo. Then keep listening to this podcast. To qualify, like us on Facebook and the Madrid Travel Club Facebook page too. Only fans of the two pages will be selected. Contest ends February 7th, 2011. This Japanese getaway is sponsored by Madrid Travel Club. Hey, this is Mo Twister for Tradeport.com.ph. As many of you know, my sked can get pretty hectic with a morning radio show and three TV shows, and that's Sunday to Sunday. Now, often, I can't find enough time to do the shopping I need for my everyday life. That's where Tradeport.com.ph kicks in. Tradeport is the e-mall of the Philippines. It's online shopping at its best because it's not a hassle and it's stress-free. Now, in our city, where traffic jams rule and parking is always difficult, Tradeport makes it convenient to buy what you want and have it delivered straight to your door in as fast as a single day. Payment options are vast. So visit tradeport.com.ph and fan them up on Facebook. Tradeport.com.ph, the e-mall of the Philippines. Why can't we look like celebrities? Why do they have white skin at Why do they look 10 years younger? Here's celebrity expert Vicky Bello to answer your questions. Celebrities stand out because of their one small secret. A beauty pill that combines whitening and anti-aging. Bello Nutraceuticals. Guaranteed to have 250 milligrams of glutathione. Perfectly measured to boost whitening until skin glows. And collagen that lifts wrinkles from within. So, to look like a celebrity, it only takes one small secret. Bello Nutraceuticals. Two capsules a day. It's beauty in a bottle.
No approved therapeutic claims. Hi, this is Mo Twister. As an avid photographer hobbyist, I recently made the switch to Canon, and what a great decision it's been. Their line of SLRs are unmatched. My favorite being the Canon EOS 5D Mark II with 21 megapixels, auto lighting optimizer function, and full HD video capture. And on top of that, they have customer service centers in case I need help with my Canon-related inquiries. I even use their video cameras for my podcast, like their Canon XF305. It's trusted by professionals, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Canon, delighting you always. Dati di ako makasabay. We broke through the global market and keeping in touch with foreign clients became very important. So I got my DSL bis, yung 8 Mbps ha. Ngayon, kahit saan ka pa, Asia, Europe, America, walang problema. Lakas ng resback ko eh. My DSL bis. This is Darius Hizon, bossing ng Pampangas Best. There are people who are pro-life, pro-choice, pro-this, and pro-that. For me, I'm pro-fun. That's why my friends and I enjoy hanging at TGI Fridays. They've got small plates to share and pass around and bottomless drinks that will last all night. Try it for yourself. Head to TGI Fridays now. Hey, this is Mo Twister. Catch the Blackberry Show in the name of love at Trinoma Mall on February 6th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. This is hosted by Chris Aquino. Watch your favorite stars reveal their L-O-V-E. And thanks to Blackberry for giving phones to this podcast. Trivia questions? Sees you. Walking encyclopedia to. Ako? I solve math problems in my head. I'm a walking calculator. Yun lang. Me? I have Wi-Fi anywhere. I'm a walking Wi-Fi zone. Huh? I have the new Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. It fits in my pocket so I can take it anywhere. It connects my different gadgets to the web at the same time. I can Facebook on my laptop to park. Nice! Watch YouTube on my iPad to stream. Cool! Or download songs on my phone now. Pukunag naman sa Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. Sure. Uh, pahiram na din ng 100 bucks. Hindi ako walking ATM, no? <laughs> the new Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. Plan 495 for 50 hours. Pay on time and get 5 hours free. Visit any Smart Wireless Center or accredited agent. Be free to be fun with Smart Bro. 659-6969. My girlfriend says she hates me. <laughs> It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by Sandmade Light. And powered by Smart Bro. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program Ooh. on a Monday night. You are listening to the podcast. Yes, Casey Montero here. Casey, Yo. thanks for Yo. being on the program. Excited to be here, man. Hey, man, are you, enjoy, are you enjoying yourself? I am enjoying myself. This is a chance for me to be the rated R that you know that I am. That's right. You're a pretty profane motherfucker. What? And I asked this to Will Devon last week. What's your uh, curse word of choice? What's, what's uh, your favorite? I just like saying fuck. Yeah? yeah fuck. Fuck's, fuck's good. And and sometimes I like to, to, to like twist it up a little bit and say feck. <laughs> feck. You can say that on the radio and not get in trouble. Feck, right? No, I say, uh, uh, what did I say? Truck and shift ditch. All right. Casey, Craig, Casey, you're on uh, 89.1 Wave, right? That's uh, right. What time? 8 to 11. And We overlap an hour. That's right. And you are on Party Filipinas on Sundays. You can watch that on GMA 7. Correct. And you have another show, right? I have a show on TV5 called Techno Trip. And uh, when is that? Uh, we have no clue. Oh, you guys just tape it and then you have no airing date yet. Uh, we're, we're starting this month. Actually, oh. we're supposed to start... We were supposed to start this month. And it was did... actually airing before, but we got new uh, producers on it, so it's going to be coming out probably uh, this month and on both channels. And you do this alone, or you have a co-host? Uh, Abby Asistio and uh, Leah Cruz. Oh, shit. The girl from uh, basketball. Yes. Cool. Right. All right. Casey is here. Phone number 659-6969. If you are trying to call, and obviously it's still busy, keep on trying. We have uh, about an hour and a half left of the program where you can call in, and we're still giving away BlackBerry phone, uh, LCD TV, as well as... Uh, some van shoes for the caller of the night. Casey, just remember, who do you think is the best? Whoever comes kind of at the end of the show. They get think? all that? No, no. They get to choose amongst that. Oh. Yeah. So, you know, whoever th whoever you liked the most, just try to remember. You don't have to remember their name. Just tell us the story. We'll look up who it is. Everybody who calls the program wins a Philips MP3 player Go Gear from tradeport.com.ph. Don't forget, you can uh, win... About 50,000, maybe 100,000 pesos cash from Tradeport. All you have to do is like them on Facebook, do that, and I personally will choose who's going to get that money. Uh, maybe we'll do it randomly. Wow. Uh, we'll, we'll think about we'll think about how to do this. Just make sure to like them on Facebook. That's the most important thing. All right, let's go to Rishi. She's uh, calling from Cebu. She is uh -oh. 22. Cebu. <laughs> Cebu, uh -oh. what's going on? I get down at Cebu. Rishi? Hey. Hey, Rishi, what's going on, love? Yes, I'm here. Hi, what's I up? Yes, it is. Oh, I, yeah, I want to ask you for advice about how to, um, I guess, revenge a friend. 
I have a Kumare who has a son and is turning one this Feb. Yeah. Well, the story is my friend was together with this guy for more than five years, and then they broke up. But the kind of breakup that is malabo because they still mess around because she didn't know that the guy already had a new girlfriend. Oh, shit. So when she, so when she told the guy that she was pregnant, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Fine, you're perfect. What's up? Hi. Yeah, hi. She's, oh, I'm sorry. So he found out, he found oh, out she was it. pregnant. <laughs> the guy was... Hello? You're breaking up. Yeah, are you on a cell phone? Yeah, you're you, breaking up, though. Yeah, don't worry, you're fine. No, Hang I'm, in. Just, I'm just, just keep calling talk- you from the internet. Oh, you're calling... Oh, that's why. You should probably use right, so- the cell phone or something. But anyway, go ahead, continue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Rishi, so, um, go ahead. Yeah, as I was saying, my friend... When my friend told uh, her ex-boyfriend that she was pregnant, the guy was like, I can't be the father of that kid because my girlfriend is also pregnant. And oh, he, he just shit. basically vowed that he doesn't want anything to do with the kid. All right. <clears throat> Let's start with ruining his relationship with his current girlfriend. What you need is you need some admission on his part that he acknowledges he just got his ex-girlfriend pregnant. All right? Which is wait, her, wait, my right? friend is, I'm sorry, my friend is the ex-girlfriend. Right, she needs to text him. He's and my say, Kumara, the ex-girlfriend. Yeah, she needs to text him and say, what are you going to do about our child? And he needs to text back and say, I don't, can't be a father to that baby because my girlfriend is currently pregnant. Boom, save it. You need paper trails, all right? You're evil. Dude, I'm uh-huh. fucking. I'm fuck. I hate guys like this. He does that for a living. Fucking every night. Every. You know this. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on one oh second. Hold on. Hold on, Rishi. Case. I have to start a separate program. Yeah. That's just what called he does. Revenge. Yeah, that's what he does. You know how many people call this show and ask for revenge? At least we can only take at least one a day or two. And that's it. Because if not, our phone system will be fucking stock full of just phone calls about re- revenge. You should write a book on revenge. Dude, my first article on Juice.ph today was about revenge. I say this. Listen Forte. to me. Listen. To, oh, this is fucking my specialty. Insulting people and revenge. That's the two things I do better than anyone else. Um, I think for Valentine's Day, all of you people who have been wronged by an ex, send, this is just small time shit. This is just for kicks. This is for laughs, okay? This is not true revenge. You send all your ex-boyfriends and girlfriends who have screwed you over a Valentine's Day card. And you just write there, very simple. If you're a girl, you go, hey, guess what? Now more than ever, I love giving blowjobs. And my new boyfriend, <laughs> big dick. And you know what? I just that will wa- kill I just want you to know, I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day, asshole. And just send those out to all the guys if you screwed you over. If your girlfriend, whatever. If you're if you're a guy, what's what's the worst insult you can give a girl if you're a guy? You were the worst lay ever. No, your vagina smells like trash. <laughs> okay, that so, all, that also sucks. <laughs> so Let me agree with you. That's you, that's yeah, not good. You write her a card. Just want you to know that I have a new girlfriend, and fucking hell, I did not know. I thought every vagina smelled smelled like your canal vagina. (laughs) Guess what? She smells like roses. Happy Valentine's Day, bitch! And you send it to her. Yeah, that's that's that'll that'll be better than what I just suggested. Sure. Are you bitter? Yes. Are you below the belt? Yes. But guess what? You just told your ex who screwed you over that they can fuck themselves on Valentine's. And her vagina smells like like canal. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You see that? Smells like a dead animal. That's right. All right, Rishi. Back to our problem, Rishi. Oh, there's one one more thing about that story. Uh-oh. Yeah, you know what's really what makes the story really bad? My friend, in desperation, went to his mom, and the mom was like, "Why are you still here? My son doesn't like you, so we don't like you." We were like, "What the hell?" I mean, you can't say that. You're a mom too. Okay, listen, Rishi, I can't give I you know. elaborate... You want to burn the guy in okay, No, no, you, I'm, I'm, crime is the last thing you want to do. I, I'm not a big... I, 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 when I say I, let's get revenge, I don't say let's go commit crimes, okay? Let's just go hurt people. Now, <laughs> I can have an elaborate revenge plan for you, but I can't do it with the time that we have allotted here on the show because this is big time stuff, and you don't hear me that well with your internet call. My thing is, what you need to do first is collect and gather as much evidence as possible that has this guy admitting that he got both of you guys, or both her and his current girlfriend pregnant, okay? Because that's great, that's great to use. Now, he can be an asshole and not care about both of you, but there's some life that we need to fuck up first before he, he, before he realizes that, all right? Now, Rishi, I can't give you, because again, this will mm-hmm. be an elaborate plan and we don't have enough time Let's go with just step one. 
gathering and then email me, Good Times with Mo podcast at rocketmail.com. You can get that email address a little bit later when you download the show and we'll work on. I will email you back. Program. Yeah, I will email you back a fucking battle plan Certain for the ages. Stages. Makes right. me wonder what mode does. It's going to be so alone, it's going to be know? so good that she's going to kick him and go this is Sparta and just kick him in a fucking hole, all right? It's going to be awesome. God, don't piss Mo off ever. Oh, yeah. All right? Is that what you do when you're alone? Okay, here's my thing. Sex tapes. Okay. Are there yes, any it is. Are there any sex tapes? Rishi. No, no sex tapes. Damn, my those- friend you yeah, those, those are those are those are always, those are always the best. <laughs> all right, Rishi, email me, and we're gonna we're gonna keep in touch, and I'm gonna give you a good one because only because we're running out of time here. All right, all right, baby. Okay. Oh, I want to say hi to Casey, hi. the most good looking guy in the world, and Dr. Sure. Gan too. I'm a big fan. All right, hi, hi. all right, thanks. A couple Don. of times, I have my picture. Like we were together in in like one of my albums here. Where were we together? When you came to Cebu before. Uh-oh. Cebu, yeah. All right. <laughs> Casey, what are you so scared? Thanks for the call. What are you so scared about Cebu? What, like, how many Cebu? girls are you breaking in half over there? So, um, Cebu is, uh, I think it's like another place. Like, nobody knows me there. Little I know, Cebu is also in the Philippines. That's right. Second biggest city in the country. Yeah, yeah. I go there and I think that I'm free. All right. And that, that, right? Wendell, we go down there for like gigs and events and stuff like that. And I go down there thinking that, yeah, nobody knows who I am. And I usually nobody knows who Wendell is. By the way, you're referencing <laughs> Wendell fans. By the way, yeah. he, he's hey. he's the owner of fans out All here. Right. So. Well, let's go to uh, Wayne, who's 30 in Los Angeles. Wayne, what's up? Hey, good morning. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, good, good, yeah, it's good morning for you. It's what we got 8:30 in the morning in Los Angeles. Hey. I, uh, no, it's 7:20, 20, 25. Okay. What? Hey, All right. Anyways, anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, I said it's 7.25, so it's good morning here. Anyways, my yeah, question yeah. is, um, is too much masturbation bad for your health? Too much masturbation is could, could be bad for your health. Doc, I want you to just jump in here real quick. Let me just get, get this out of the way. Too much masturbation is bad for your physical health if you start ruining your penis. Mm-hmm. It, I, we're more worried about the psychological problems if, you, if you're saying, if you're masturbating way too much. Yes, please. Wayne, Let I just know. need to ask you first, what do you do? What are your numbers? How, how many times are you masturbating a day? Like the max is like Three. That's fine. You're, day, wait, what, 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 how old are you? Thirty. Oof. You know, Wayne, thir- for a thirty-year-old, <laughs> it's not that. It's not that I think you're a sex addict. At three times a day, I'm wondering how come you don't have a fucking job and other responsibilities that that kind of should be taking over the time that you have to masturbate three times a day. Casey, you're what thirty-three, maybe about my age. Um, you're doing once a day. That's it's- completely fine. But you're Wayne three times a day at it- thirty. Three times a day is okay, as long as it doesn't interfere with his work. You he know? Doesn't, do you have a job? Yes. Wayne, are you working? Do you masturbate yes, I do. work? The sperm donor. Yes, yes, I do. Rich. All right. Well, three three ah. is a lot, dude. And, and and what are you using for lubrication? Because I want to know why your penis hasn't been like chafing or getting at least uh, reddish. What do you use for uh, lubricant? Oh, KY jelly. I'm sorry, KY jelly? KY jelly. Yeah, that's a little thick, though. Just jelly. Yeah, KY, uh-huh. KY a little thick for, for three jam. times a day. It's, if it's not as liquidy or not as, you know, the consistency is not as watery. And yeah. I feel like a KY can actually do some damage to you if you do it three times. Whatever you use, don't use peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> if you're afraid that you're going to hurt yourself, um, it, there's going to be lots of friction because they're doing it three times a day. And I don't know how, what the interval between each um, episode is. But the, the closer the interval is, the, the more that you're going to hurt it. But um, with regards oh, okay. to your semen production, it won't, won't do any harm to you. Yeah, you're, you're fine. You're man. fine, you're fine medically semen. unless yeah. your penis starts to get irritated. That's it, the only So my... <laughs> so You're, the sperm count is not. No, no, I'm um, really no. Doesn't doesn't affect it. What what I'm wondering right now? Are you fucking what masturbating I'm right now? <laughs> <laughs> we no, I'm not. It's yeah, I just woke up. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, that's so like, what? It's yeah. more of a mechanical problem rather than a physiologic problem. So the the chafing, you know, the redness, the irritation, the friction that that you put into the penis, the the problem that you're going to encounter. All right. Doesn't he get bored? Oh, well, gotcha. well, it's just, it's just, it, it's a lot uh-huh. for your age. Like, if you're a 15 year old calling the show and you said three times a day, no problem. But you know, the fact that it's, it's kind of like, you know, you're 30. Let's, let's come on, let's get, mm. let's get a little bit more going in your life. You all should, right, you should be doing a lot. All right, Wayne, more than you know, masturbation. Thank, thanks for the call. Dude. Right, hey, um, is Casey there, right? Yeah. Yes. 
Casey. What? Yeah, we miss you at um at Top of Boy. Remember Top of Boy? You were serving. I heard. Yep. Yep. Sorry, I didn't make it there. Uh, I'm I'm yeah, surprised you that you actually. Here? I'm surprised that you made it there and you weren't masturbating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank, thanks for the call, buddy. Appreciate it. Ah, nah, I wasn't there. All right. All right. Thanks, thanks for the call. Bye bye. Let's get back to uh, some uh, Manila phone calls here. Let's start with. Um, He's a. Let's start with Martha, who's the 19. Martha, you're in Manila. What's up? 31. Hi. Hi. Um, I have a question about um, lingerie. Sure. Ooh. Okay. Because um, there was this one time I was with this boy. We were in this room and everything. And I changed in front of him because it was no big deal. Yeah. And I was wearing pink lace lingerie. Dude, you're 19. That's hot. All yes. right. Continue. Go. And... So, like, I don't know, I guess he saw me or something, and he was reacting like he was dying inside and everything. What do you mean dying? Like, he was so excited like, because like, he saw you. He was covering his face with a pillow because he couldn't help but look and everything. Well, yeah. yeah. A 19-year-old yeah. lingerie, that's what happens when heterosexual men see yeah. that. See that. <laughs> was he your age? I'm sorry? Was he your age? Um, he's a year older. Okay, when I was 20, I did not see 19-year-olds in lingerie. <laughs> Never in my fucking life. <laughs> so, of course, dude, if I saw you at your age with a pink lingerie, walking around the house, changing, changing. for no that's, reason. Changing. That's rude. You're, that's you're, changing, you're changing for no reason I don't care in if you're front rude. of me? No, that's cause cause fucking that like, him, though. You know, yeah. No, because so, um, we were together, like, we were with our friends drinking that day, and then... Um, he brought me home, and it was around 6 a.m., So, and we moved to the bedroom so we could actually sleep, like, just sure. sleep. Yeah. Oh hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. Yeah. Case, you don't oh listen. <laughs> Case, Case, <laughs> Case and Gan, you don't listen to my radio show, but I have a fucking theory. Gan, you have to hear this, and I'm fucking right every single time. I've never met. Sexual activity, fucking right. like a dude is what he. So, so Martha, do you fuck like on. a dude? You're, you're you're having sex like a monster, aren't you? And you started young. Uh, I'm going. Well, I'm going. Okay. Know. I'm fifth. I'm going. Fifteen years old. Fourteen. I'm sorry. Fourteen or fifteen? No, no, like um a year ago. Okay. All right, but since then, She's catching up. Since then, you're just writing like writing a fucking secretariat, right? I mean, it's it's, it's big time, right? No, not that much. <laughs> you don't have a high sex drive. I'm not denying that. That's right. See? You see, that's what I'm saying. And, and the thing is, the fact that you're willing to change in front, in of, front of just a friend mm-hmm. who, who, who's, who's, who's just exploding inside when he sees you with <laughs> pink lingerie. after you've been drinking. Yeah, it shows that you're fucking, you're, you have a freaking. No, wait. In or my you're just defense, being a dick. Yeah. Um, he's already kind of seen me. Half naked before. Okay. Mm-hmm. In my defense, the fact that you're fucking getting naked in front of other people nonchalantly yeah. means you have a real a, a sexual creature about you. Yes, Martha, just fucking me. Who the fuck do you think you're talking? Yeah. To? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, Martha. So what's the question? So, so nothing happened that night, and that whole sh- whatever with that guy is already done. All right. And there's this new guy. Sure. And if my daughter has a low voice at 12 <laughs> or 13, I'm locking her fucking away. <laughs> just wanted to add that. And um, the deal is, I was, I was just actually wondering what specific kind of lingerie do guys prefer? 
like well, in terms of color and okay how old style. is he how old is he he's also a year older Funny. No lingerie. Lingerie, like, it excites us for a second or two, and then we want that shit off. You take at it that off. age, yeah. Martha, at that age, we just want you naked. Now, you can you can really make us go crazy, though, if you came up with maybe a laced boy shorts. There's a lot of nice, like, butt-enhancing boy shorts that really do kind of well this day and age. You, you get rid of the thong. I think the thong is way too three, no, four I don't years wear ago. Thongs. Yeah, don't. No, it, it's, it's kind of played out already. You can get a laced boy shorts that kind of hug the, the ass cheeks. Squeeze a butt. Squeeze a butt. Yeah, it, it is fantastic. And, and you can do that. But again, he's only going to appreciate that for four seconds before he wants that ripped off you immediately. Martha, guess what? I like the silk stuff where you can see like the nipples kind of coming out a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? Is yeah. that a little old case? No, just a, but you know, and then you go, okay, that's fucking great. Take your shit off. Let's go. Yeah. Just like, you know, just, just a little nipple because I'm a boob guy. Yeah, but but the, the I just thought the trendier thing is like the the, the pinking, the pink lace, the the, the the purple laces. Those are things I see most girls wearing right now. Hey, it's been eight months, buddy. I'm sorry. Okay. That's right. yeah, you got you to gotta go with the changing times, right. brother. So Martha. Trends. Huh. Uh, boy shorts, lace. And you're in. The, for in my opinion. All right? And as right. you know, I speak for the majority of people. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dear. He's a genius. He's a genius. An- another clue that a girl has a has a lots of testosterone level, their clitoris, it's bigger. Oh, so they have big oh wieners, God, too. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. yeah. So they might they have a tendency to cheat, though, also, because they have the high testosterone levels. Yep. Oh. Fuck. How, how, big, and, how big can clits get? I want to know that. Can there like be some really big honking... Clits. What do you mean big? Yeah, on, big, on chicks like big... with mustaches and shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> right I don't Sometimes know. people call them a penis. No. Mm. Yeah. Like, can they get like 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 big meaty no, ones? No, no, like, no, no. They're just like this, like yeah. a peanut. All yeah, right. Peanut. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it, oh, Martha. Right, but the ones, you know, the ones that extend from the body. Oh, let's, let's go to yeah. like Tony. Tony, you're on Skype. Uh, Tony Curtis. Is this a female? Or is this oh a God. Male? Yeah. What's going on, love? Oh God. Oh God. I'm so nervous. Are you? You're from Texas. Is this right? No. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. I thought I had you here at Texas. All right, what's going on, Tony? Uh, yeah. So, um Jeez, what's happening? I've always wanted to lick BF's balls. You want to look you want to lick your boyfriend's balls. Yeah. Okay. But he said he doesn't like it. Yeah. Because it takes him a lot. Okay. So, how do I make him like it? I mean, I've always wanted to lick his balls. Come <laughs> on, guys. I mean, do you guys really like I mean, to be like, no, to be no, no, balls? no, no. I th- there are guys who universally like blowjobs, but okay. there are guys that don't like the ball licking. There, there's a, there, there, there's a minority, or maybe even half, a population of guys that will, will, will dig it. But there's also a good chunk of them that don't. And if, really? if, yeah, it's, it's not as universally loved as a blowjob. Yeah, I don't like the balls looking. Yeah, I don't like the balls looking either. If you try oh, licking okay. my balls, I, I'm gonna move your face out of it and go. Why don't you just go? One just, inch up. Yeah. <laughs> that's as far as you gotta go. Well, maybe because because it's it's a result of um, watching too much porn or something. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's why I've always had this penchant of licking. Have balls. you have you ever done it? Have you ever licked a ball in your life? Uh, yeah, of course. And you I like licking it. the balls, and you like it. I can't say that I like it, but okay. I mean, it's my boyfriend. We've been together for five for for five freaking years. I know, so. but 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 listen. Uh, what's your name, Tony? Tony, if he doesn't like it, then stop doing it. It's like, what if he goes? Can I stick my thumb in your butthole? And you're like, I don't want it. And Wait. he's like, Yo, but but she girls like porn. it. You know, she watches porn. Yeah, Rich no, that's what, saying. Saying, yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Because you'll see that stuff in pornography. Again, let me go back to the the the, the analogy that I use in I've pornography. Heard this one. I've heard this. One. Oh, the basketball. Oh, no, no, about how porn has ruined it. Yeah, porn has ruined it. Okay, here's the thing, all right? Uh, aside from porn ruining regular sex because of all the spitting and aggressiveness that goes on, take, take Sports Center. Hold on, dear. I got to put you on hold because I hear air in the background. Case, li- listen up. If you, if, you, uh, if you watched Sports Center and you're watching basketball all day, that's the only thing you knew about basketball, what do you think you're going to do when you get onto the court? You're going to try to do all that stuff. Yeah, and what is all that stuff? Slam dunks Stuff that you probably can't do. Yeah, slam dunks, <laughs> half court shots, behind yep. the back passes. Guess, guess, guess how well you're going to do on the court if you just went with what you saw on TV. Pretty fucking shitty. Yeah, that's right. You probably won't <laughs> even fucking play anymore. Right. 
And none of that shit you saw actually really works in real life. Why? Because they're elite athletes and you're not in the yeah. NB fucking A. Right. All right? So you watch porn, you look at the stuff that they do, the fucking pornographers do, and you're like, okay, I'm going to take this to the to, to, to the bedroom. And guess what? You can't pull it off. Because A, nobody likes a thumb in their ass. B, you don't want to <laughs> spit on the genitals of the person you're having sex with. <laughs> why did they do that? I have no idea <laughs> why, why they do they that. they spit on the uh, you, you don't want to lo- dangle from it. chains. <laughs> you don't want to do any of those things that you see because it's not realistic. Okay. Wait, unless unless you happen to be blessed with uh, a boyfriend who likes that shit and you like that shit too, then you guys can swing from chains from the ceiling as much as you want. Exactly. (laughs) Right. But it sounds like your boyfriend may be a normal dude. Right. Uh, And normal guys generally have, well, I don't say generally because there are a lot of guys who like the ball licking. There's a good chunk of them that don't. I am for I am one of those. Casey is one of those. Gan, are you a big fan of the ball licking? Yeah. Okay, see? But love look, love, love look. it. Yeah, but love see, six, 66, 66 percent of the room says no. Okay. So quit it if he doesn't like it, all right? And listen, it's balls. It's the only thing that I and George Clooney and Brad Pitt share in common in, in terms of looks. They're all ugly. I don't know why you want to fucking lick them, all right? Thanks for the call, baby. Okay, all right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, no you guys. All right, Dude, bye-bye. Like, like the balls okay. are like the most dark, down, dirty. Yeah. Like <laughs> it's like it's not the part that it's, it's ugly. It smells. It's like, There's it's, hair it's, in rogue right? hairs. Where, does, where does mold grow? Dark, warm, moist places. <laughs> where are your balls? And and who's ever looked at a pair of balls and go, oh yeah, I, I gotta lick that. fucking lick that, <laughs> lick that shit. like a fucking ice. Look cream. at those look, fucking balls. I'm gonna lick them. Like Hagen Dazs ball flavor. Oh yeah. You know nobody likes it. Tony. Except for Tony does. Tony likes li- the ball licking. Damn. I want to uh, hang out with Tony. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to give her beso, though. Sherwin, you're 32. What's up? Malabon. Sherwin? You've been on hold for well over half an hour. Sh- Sherwin, I know you're there. Oh, he fucking hung Bastard. up at the last minute. <laughs> he, he, and he had it on speaker. All right. Marvin, you're 22. What's up? Hello, good evening. Marvin, you've been on hold for over an hour. This Marvin. Yeah, you've been on hold, what, hour and a half? Yes, one hour and a half. All right, what's up, buddy? Um, my question is, if you fell in love with your best friend, how will you tell your best friend, and what would you do? Well, you just do it. I mean, you, you, put, the, you're, you put the friendship on the line to an extent, yeah. but if you are in love and that's not going to go away, you um, just... Aren't you afraid that it will affect your friendship? Yeah, but what do you want more? Do you want the friendship more, or do you want her to be your girlfriend? Yes, but um, sometimes it... It can, it can be wrong, right? No, it, it, it can backfire, true, but you want her to be your girlfriend more than anything yes. because you're head over heels in love. So you just go out and you take the risk. Um, but it happened that um, 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 instead of um, falling in love with you, um, he went away, away yeah. from you. Yeah, well, you know what, uh, Marvin? Why don't you use your intuition? Why don't you use context? Why don't you think... Hmm. Let's find out. Uh, try using body language, um, gestures, things that she talks about as clues to whether she likes you or not. Marvin, um, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, but did you say he? No, no. Come on. He's, okay. He's, he's fucking, <laughs> fucking, come on. He's, they, weren't, they don't have a command of the English language. Wait, okay, here. <laughs> fuck I'm sure off, you, Mo. I'm sure you've made the equivalent fuck up in Tagalog. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I so, speak like a two-year-old in Tagalog. Go. Anyway, go ahead. Hey, go ahead. Um, so here's the deal. I think maybe you should just go there and say, uh, like kind of feel your way around and say, hey, um, do you think maybe in the future you can see us uh, maybe being more than friends? And if, if, if the person kind of shows like a violent reaction or kind of smiles a bit, then you know where you're going to go. But if she uh, is not going your way, then you totally drop it and you leave it alone and then you guys can still remain friends. Yeah, because you're stuck in the friend zone. Casey brought up a really good point. How about having this conversation, Marvin? Yeah. Hey, uh, what's her name? The girl you like? Marvin. No, no, no. The girl you like. The girl. Yeah. What's her name? Can I tell her name? Her first name. Hey, yeah, her first name. Yeah. Um, her first name was um, Marjorie. Marjorie. Okay, see, there's a million Marjorie, so we don't know who we're talking about. Just nice, go. Nice fake name, by the yeah. way. Yeah, Marjorie. Marjorie. I mean, listen, if yeah. I'm not, if you're not married when you're 35, and I'm not married when I'm 35, well, do you think we should just get it? Just ah, do you think we should, do you think we should just get? Yeah, you don't think we should just get married? Just like, a, we won't be old and alone. You can use that. That's a childish way to tell somebody 
you like them or try to get a gauge on whether they liked you. That that's teenage shit. But Marvin, you're 22. You still sound like a teenager. Yeah. I think you um, can pull I'm that. I'm turning 22. Um, I don't care. It's Thursday. <laughs> so what? I'm talking about just. Yes. You, you you sound like you're very immature, or at least yeah. you're not experienced. So if you want to use that childish, let's get married and along, if no one's going to marry each other, all bullshit, then, then mm-hmm. just use it as a gauge on whether you think she likes you or not. All right? Yes. All right. Go, go, go. Thank you. Yeah. Hour and a half. Does go, go, go ever work, Mo? <laughs> no. Go, go, go. Just go, go, go. Um, we've got a lot of people who've been on hold for a long time, but I like Francis here. Francis, you're 17. What's up? Francis, talk about girl on girl sex. Francis, Francis, please come to us. Francis, <laughs> Nishan, you're thirty. What's up, Nishan? Hello. Yes, love. Go ahead. Yes. Listen to the phone. You're gonna have to listen. To yeah, you're gonna have to listen to the phone, dear. Hello. Yes, yes. Uh, Nishan, turn yes. off your computer and just listen to the phone, if you may, please. Okay, Thank I'm you. sorry. No worries. Go ahead. Holy shit. Okay, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Nishan, please. Hello. Yes, listen yes. to the phone. Okay. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Go. Speak into it also. Wow. Hello. She hello? is. What's yeah. your question? What's your question? What's the question? Oh, uh, okay. I thought I already gave my question a while ago. No, okay. Nishan. Go ahead. You've been on hold 40 minutes. Let's not waste it. Come on. Okay. Um, my question a while ago was, um, how will you ever trust again if you've already been cheated on? Uh, how do you trust the same person? No. Or just not anybody? the same person, of course. Well, how, how, um, how many times have you been cheated on, Nishan? Uh, <laughs> like, okay, one moment. Like, Damn. Less than three times or, or three times probably. Okay Listen Maybe you're picking The wrong kind of guy So my advice would be To pick how a guy How would you know If it's the right kind of guy well, because, Pick a um, guy That you don't like as much As you did On those last three guys Because I have a feeling You have a raw You have a bad radar On <laughs> picking men So you have to stop Going out with guys That you're really 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 into And just go out with guys That you kind of like Because that's going to be The right that's guy That's what I you. did the last time What do you mean You didn't really like him Yes, I didn't really like him the, the first time, and then um, he was very persistent, and then after seven months of courting me, I finally gave in, and then gave my heart, and then after four years, look what happened. <laughs> and how old were you at the time? Uh, let me see, 26. Hmm, yeah, that's kind of an age where, where that kind of stuff should be... All right, Um. well... <laughs> I, I just think you have a bad gauge for now, because there are a lot of guys out there that, who won't cheat on you. Um, Casey... Myself, Gan, I can't really speak with confidence, but but we, <laughs> Case, I've known you as to be a pretty faithful dude when in a relationship. You're a relationship guy. Yeah, I've been in relationships pretty much my whole life. Yeah, and and th- this day because we're we're good friends. This day and age, I can almost assume that you and myself would be guys who don't cheat. We know each other well, Mel. Yes, you yeah, see, we sure do. And 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 that's that's Casey, who's got. 35 tattoos and whatever he looks like a bad guy in terms of like just you just saw him right away he's got the pleasant face and all but with all the fucking tattoos and all that bullshit radio show nonsense you think that he would be one of those guys he's not there are guys out there mm-hmm. it's you and your mm-hmm. radar though the guys well, that you're mm-hmm. picking yeah probably but how would you know if um you've known this person for so long and then he suddenly saying this is that really i mean is that really um is that really true? When or? You, okay, when you say suddenly changes, meaning is it something that surprises you? Yes. Then that, that's usually a bad sign. And remember, you came from a four-year relationship. Relationships are supposed to generally end kind of every now and then at your age. You get what I mean? So maybe you held on too long and he ended up he cheating on you. held on too you. long? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know the story and we don't have time to go with it. Just mm-hmm. say, just yeah. go out there. There are guys out there who won't cheat on you. I'm thinking maybe you just have a bad radar. Is, is, did your dad cheat on your wife? Was your dad no, absentee? Never. never. You, you came from a good family? Yes. Okay, then, yeah, then, then just go ahead and go get into guys that you don't like very much. Or you like them but not crazy about them. They might be the key, all right? <laughs> okay. All right. And, and Case, again, any advice for her? Don't lick balls. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the call. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we have a Skype call from San Diego. 
Her name is uh, Charisma. <laughs> <laughs> On stage three. That's right. Charisma. You know that's wrong. From Marjorie to right. Charisma. Also, we're at 659-6969 here in Manila. If you want to call us or wherever you are around the world, this is the podcast. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659-6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Si Marian at si Ding Dung, oh. Waiter, sa pangasan Meg Light bucket? Pare, anong pipiliin mo? Si Marian o abs ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o sports car ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o beach house ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o Ding Dong? Pareho. Ay- Maganda ang gabi, pagmasaya ang usapan at mahaba-haba ang inuman. Kaya dapat magkaan sa tiyan, San Mig Light. Drink moderate. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, and Madrid Travel Club are giving away a trip for two to Japan. If you want to snowboard, enjoy authentic Japanese cuisine, see cherry blossoms, or experience the pandemonium of a mega city like Tokyo, then keep listening to this podcast. To qualify, like us on Facebook and the Madrid Travel Club Facebook page, too. Only fans of the two pages will be selected. Contest ends February 7th, 2011. This Japanese getaway is sponsored by Madrid Travel Club. Hey, this is Mo Twister for Tradeport.com.ph. As many of you know, my sked can get pretty hectic with a morning radio show and three TV shows, and that's Sunday to Sunday. Now, often, I can't find enough time to do the shopping I need for my everyday life. That's where Tradeport.com.ph kicks in. Tradeport is the e-mall of the Philippines. It's online shopping at its best because it's not a hassle and it's stress-free. Now, in our city, where traffic jams rule and parking is always difficult, Tradeport makes it convenient to buy what you want and have it delivered straight to your door in as fast as a single day. Payment options are vast. So visit tradeport.com.ph and fan them up on Facebook. Tradeport.com.ph, the e-mall of the Philippines. Why can't we look like celebrities? Why do they have white skin at Why do they look 10 years younger? Here's celebrity expert Vicky Bello to answer your questions. Celebrities stand out because of their one small secret. A beauty pill that combines whitening and anti-aging. Bello Nutraceuticals. Guaranteed to have 250 milligrams of glutathione. Perfectly measured to boost whitening until skin glows. And collagen that lifts wrinkles from within. So, to look like a celebrity, it only takes one small secret. Bella Nutraceuticals. Two capsules a day. It's beauty in a bottle. No approved therapeutic claims. Hi, this is Mo Twister. As an avid photographer hobbyist, I recently made the switch to Canon, and what a great decision it's been. Their line of SLRs are unmatched. My favorite being the Canon EOS 5D Mark II with 21 megapixels, auto lighting optimizer function, and full HD video capture. And on top of that, they have customer service centers in case I need help with my Canon-related inquiries. I even use their video cameras for my podcast, like their Canon XF305. It's trusted by professionals, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Canon, delighting you always. Dati di ako makasabay. We broke through the global market and keeping in touch with foreign clients became very important. So I got my DSLBs, yung 8 Mbps ha. Ngayon, kahit saan ka pa, Asia, Europe, America, walang problema. Lakas ng resba ko eh. My DSLBs. This is Darius Hizon, bossing ng Pampangas Best. There are people who are pro-life, pro-choice, pro-this, and pro-that. For me, I'm pro-fun. That's why my friends and I enjoy hanging at TGI Fridays. They've got small plates to share and pass around and bottomless drinks that will last all night. Try it for yourself. Head to TGI Fridays now. Hey, this is Mo Twister. Catch the Blackberry Show in the name of love at Trinoma Mall on February 6th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. This is hosted by Chris Aquino. Watch your favorite stars reveal their L-O-V-E. And thanks to Blackberry for giving phones to this podcast. Trivia questions? CCU. Walking encyclopedia to. Ako? I solve math problems in my head. I'm a walking calculator. Yun lang. Me? I have Wi-Fi anywhere. I'm a walking Wi-Fi zone. Huh? I have the new Smart Bro Pocket Wi-Fi. It fits in my pocket so I can take it anywhere. It connects my different gadgets to the web at the same time. I can Facebook on my laptop to park. Nice! Watch YouTube on my iPad to street. Cool. Or download songs on my phone now. Pukunag naman sa Smart Bro Pocket Wi-Fi. Sure. Uh, pahiram na din ng 100 bucks. Hindi ako walking ATM, no? <laughs> the new Smart Bro Pocket Wi-Fi. Plan 495 for 50 hours. Pay on time and get 5 hours free. Visit any smart wireless center or accredited agent. Be free to be fun with Smart Bro. 
659-6969. My girlfriend says she hates me. <laughs> it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast, brought to you by Sandmade Light. And powered by Smart Pro. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program, it is a Monday night here in Manila, Philippines, wherever you are around the world. Thank you very much for being part of our podcast, being brought to you by Sandmade Light, the low-calorie light beer here in the Philippines, which Casey is drinking yummy this evening it's also powered by smart bro as we are broadcasting live from the smart bro studios you can download us on itunes as well tomorrow morning or whatever time that is in your country let us get to more calls let's go to skype first because we have somebody here who's been on hold for quite some time she is from san diego in the united states her name is charisma charisma you're on the show what's up hi hi good morning I good, mean, good evening. Yes, good morning to you, dear. It's uh, 8 a.m., I'm assuming, in San Diego. Yeah, it's five minutes left before I clock in. Anyway, hi, Mo. I know this is just really a very, very quick question because I really need to go now. Great. Um, we like your like, questions. Um, yeah. Um, I'm 37 years old, and I'm, and my husband is 43 years old. And you're kind of cute, now, by the way. Sorry. We, I just, we both, yeah. Casey and all of us, we all just thought we saw you on hold. You are rather attractive. Anyway, go ahead. For a 37-year-old. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, anyway. Back in your you face. Know, my husband um, really wants to do a blow job. Like every time we do the sex. Yeah. But then, of course, as a lady, I sex. also want to have mine to be kissed. But you I want- ask him times already, but he just doesn't do it. Okay. You want you want him to go down on you because and, – and he expects you to go down on him and give him a blow job every single time. Yep. And you exactly. want And you want him to go down on you. Of course. Of course you do because that's an awesome way to have an orgasm. All right. First of all, <laughs> let me see here. Really quick because we got to get out of this. And then Casey and, and Gan, just jump in whenever you can. Do you smell down there? That, that's the <laughs> number one question we have to ask. Yeah. You, do you smell bad? Uh, no, 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 no. Not really. No, I'm sorry. Not really. No. Um, no. no, I don't because um, every time – before we do that, of course, I have to – we both have to take over. Okay? And I use – of feminine wash too, Okay, that's so. fine. No, well, you can just say no, and we're we're good. I, obviously, we're mm. not going to be able to prove it. You're in San uh-huh. Diego. It would be kind of awesome though if we did. We could now, prove it. Yeah. Now, charisma. Listen, you have to tell him I am no longer going to give you a blowjob if you don't go down on me too, because this Ooh. is unfair. All right. Listen, you're the one that carries your mouth. You're the one that has the vagina. That means you are empowered. Mm-hmm. Like if you go, if he goes, I want to have a blowjob every single time we have sex. You're like, yeah, but what about me? I want to have an orgasm and I don't get an orgasm with your penis. I need you to go down on me. That, dude, you're 37. He's 43. He should know this. That's perfect. You should use the blowjob and hold it hostage. That's right. Exactly. No, sincerely. It, it, it's, a, it's a funny way of, of being realistic and correct. Casey says, hold it hostage. Yeah. Do you think that works? It yeah, works. It's real. It's real. Oh my God, does it work, dude? If I had a if I had a wife who would give me a blowjob every single day, and all I had to do was go down on her in, in, as a payment, then mm-hmm. dude, show me the way. I'm ready to go. And while he's down there, tell him where to go. Tell mm-hmm. him what to do. Be open as possible. I, he's selfish. I, I don't actually don't like this guy. Yeah, sex life is a give well, and take he, relationship. You know. He really is. I'm sorry. He really is selfish guy. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck that. I mean, okay, he might be a good boyfriend in other ways that you or a good husband in other ways, but you cannot be selfish in the bedroom. We've said it already earlier on the show. You're supposed to be there to please your partner first. And that's what I... he has to do. Case Gan. Yeah. Here's what I think you should do. What you should do is take a picture of his dick, right? And then post it on the wall and say, this is your dick, and you will not have a blowjob unless you go down on me. And have like a wanted poster or of like a blowjob and say, you can't have no, this. No, what's even wanted worse? Wanted blowjob. No, you can't have what's it. What's even worse is grab his penis, lick it, and you go, oh. you don't get a second one. You want, you want some more? You, <laughs> you want some more? Yeah, you, no. you give him a taste test. And then all of a sudden you, Tease you, him. you pull it back. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right? Oh. <laughs> or 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 here charisma here's okay you live in the u.s here's what, last resort get yourself a vibrator and go at least it's more generous than you are oh that would hurt yeah you don't have to use it just say look what i bought why well because obviously the, the, vibr- the vibrator does what it what i want it to do you don't you or can, or you can buy one of those vi- i think they have like vibrators that look like tongues no no they have oh. yeah they have they have they have the, the wider ones with the clitoral stimulator as well on the outside just get one of those and go listen it's not that i'm insulting you it's just our sex life isn't very good because you're not willing to do the things that makes me happy. And I, that's why I'm buying this. Now, if you want me to throw this away, you have to start doing what I want. And look at me. I'm hot. 
Yes. Fucking A, Charisma. We're looking at you. You're gorgeous. And my he, name's Charisma. <laughs> Hit his pride. He's Thank his ego. I don't look like Rian Ramos, though. I know that. <laughs> but still. <laughs> who? Cruz or whoever. Who? <laughs> don't worry. But anyway, thanks. Thank you're, you. Yeah, you're, you're way anyway. too attractive to be, to be turned down, all right? Okay, thanks. Right. No I'll worries. take that advice. Hold Please. it hostage. Thanks. Hold, Hold it hostage. Hold it hostage. That's the best. All right, thanks for the call. <laughs> Bye-bye, Charisma. All right, let's take more phone calls here from Manila. Kwa, naman matao dito? 40 minutes uh, holding time. Let's start with Arnold. You're 27. You're in Cavite. What's going on? Yes. Uh, hello? Yeah, go ahead. I just want to ask for an advice. Sure. Uh, I'm, kind of, I'm living with my girlfriend, and we have a daughter. And we're not married yet, but I'm planning to propose to her. Okay. Yeah, um, I want to ask for advice uh, how to propose. No, we're not going to give you that advice. I get this call way too often, um, Arnold. And it, it is I've realized that I've given this advice so much that people are starting to rely on me. Now, this is not to be mayabang or anything, but I just because I know because it happens to me all often on my radio show. It happens to me on my Twitter. It happens to me on this program. It happens to me on my fucking cell phone where guys have just <laughs> just now want to pick my brain on two things. How to get revenge and how to propose their wi- to their wife. Or three, what to get their girlfriend for Valentine's Day. These are the three questions that bombard my everyday fucking life and it drives me crazy. The revenge is my new little toy, so I don't mind it as much. But the, but the, the proposals and the fucking gifts for birthday, Christmas, and Valentine's... All December, I got this question for Christmas, and it's, it's, I'm, I'm sick of it. You should be able to come up with something for your fiancé on how you personalize your proposal and not ask someone else to do it for you. Yeah, because you're the one who knows your girlfriend. It's not Mo, it's not Case, it's not me. You're the one who knows them personally. You can come visit me on my radio station and tell me about her, and then maybe I'll give the time to, to cook something up for mm-hmm. you. But not on this show. Not when we've got a ton of people calling from all around the world. Am I going to make your proposal less personal for you? Okay. Uh, one more thing. Uh, yeah. Question lang. Kasi may napapansin ako. Yung, yung sa panty ng girls. Yung uh, parang nagkakaroon ng butas. Pero... Yung panty ng ano? Girl. Girls. Girls. Yung panty ng mga girls mo? May butas? Yeah. Yes. So you got old underwear, man. You, you got. Yeah, but you probably got holes in your underwear too. No, no. It's uh, for example, uh, she buys a new underwear, and then for maybe two to three months, nagkahang siya ng holes. Okay, Gan, is there some sort of like uh, acid coming out of there that's burning into the uh, thing no. in two to three months? That's a real fire crotch. <laughs> No, that doesn't happen. You know, no matter if you have gonorrhea, syphilis, no, any no, the discharge, it, it it won't affect the fabric. Most of the time, the fabric is the 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 holes in the fabric is caused by, you know, washing it, you know, try to wrinkling it with whatever. But the secretions from the from the females won't affect the fabric. All right. So there's not uh, some kind of infection. No, no, no. infections won't do that. The on infection you will smell on her. Yeah. Vagina. You'll right. see it and you'll smell it. And you'll feel it on yourself. Definitely, it's not going to affect panties, underwears. He's got some kind of crazy acid. Yeah, all right? Because <laughs> if it affects underwears, then definitely it's going to affect your penis. That's true. Is there holes in your penis? No. Aside from no, that one that's okay. already there? Okay. All right, then you're fine. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. No. Giselle, you're 23. You've been no, on hold for 40 minutes. Giselle, what's up? Hello. Hi, dear. What's going on? Um... Um, I have this boyfriend for three years na. Yep. Eh, tapos, masyadong maliit yung ano niya. Okay, huh? how big? How small? How three small? Sorry, inches. that's good. Three inches, erect? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ew. Mm-hmm. Boy, I'm so glad I'm an inch bigger than that loser. <laughs> All right, anyway. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Yun. Tapos, ano siya? Medyo hairy siya sa chest, tsaka doon. Okay. Oh, wow. Makes it even look worse. Yeah. Then yes. Maybe it just looks three inches. Anyway, continue. Go. Hmm, okay. Tapos, um, ano, medyo mabilis pa siya matapos. Why are God. you, why have you been with him for three years? Love ko siya eh. Oh, sure. What's not love. the love, right? Yeah. Alright, continue. Hmm. Ayun. So, since hindi ako nasasatisfy sa kanya, mm-hmm. pumapayag siya na maiba kang kadu, okay. basta present siya. 
Oh. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. He loves you too. This mm-hmm. this is the worst human being I've ever... Yeah. This is officially the worst guy Boy? I've ever heard of. No, no, no. Your boyfriend? Officially yeah. the worst guy I've ever heard of in my life. Small penis, super hairy, wants you to have sex with other guys while he watches an, a foreign penis penetrate you mm-hmm. and you've tolerated this for three off. years. Wa- as, as he jacks off. Right. Yeah. yeah. But he's what, doing this for her. What a keeper. All right. Anyway, continue. <clears throat> What's the question? Um, para kasi gusto ko na siyang hiwalayan. Pero kasi, para napaka-undisnable naman na, ang sasabihin ko sa kanya, hiwalayan kita kasi maliit yung... <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Dude, Giselle, you're a fucking idiot. I can't believe how stupid you are because... You're using his small penis as the basis for breakup when he told you to have sex with another man in front no, of him. No, actually, sabi niya yun kasi nga, hindi ako nasasatisfy. Yun nga, right. but the fact Mag-ing that he's willing yung... to share you with another guy is grounds for breakup immediately. Mm-hmm. And you're using three-inch penis as the reason. Mm-hmm. Giselle. Mm-hmm. Do not have children ever because we can't have... Dumb shits running around our city. I'm, I'm going to forgive you and your parents for, for, for giving birth to you, but you're not allowed to have children. Me? Yes. Or him? You. Both of you. Why? Because <laughs> you can't have that stupidity going through my city. What's up, huh? No. I'm fucking telling you the truth. Casey, do you want her offspring running around our city? No, but you know what? I got a bigger dick than a three-inch penis. Maybe she hang out. <laughs> he's gone eight months, and he's better looking yeah, than your brother. Let's go. I guarantee you. I will break your shit. Yeah, all right? So, Giselle, first of all, you're never allowed to have sex without protection ever again. A. B. You can only adopt. Break. Up, not even because you're gonna fuck the kids up brains up. He's gonna go ahead and hold me up while I'm on the ATM. Uh-huh. B, you have to break up with your boyfriend because he's just he's already put you up for sale for other guys. All right, that's fucking uh-huh. ridiculous. All right, Giselle, please imme- act immediately. Uh-huh. What's your birth control of choice? Mm, condom <laughs> and pills. No, stop the pills and the condom because I don't even trust you. I want you to huh? go to your gynecologist and get the shot and get that. Gan, how long does the shot work for? Mind. There, yeah. Okay, go. I'll fucking pay for it. <laughs> Talaga? <laughs> Talaga, because I don't want you and your fucking kids running around my city. <laughs> All right? Okay. okay. I'll pay for it. Okay. Send me the bill. Mo yan, ha? Get the shot. Holy shit. Again, how much does that cost? I don't know. No, no, not you. See? That's okay. another reason why I don't want you. Again. <laughs> How much does it cost? It's less than a thousand. Cut, go get it done with the receipt. Come to my radio show. Yeah. I'll fucking reimburse you right on the spot. Okay. All right. Thanks, baby doll. Bye bye. Oh my God. You, know, you just pro- opened her up to have the some major with, sex now. You should thank me. All of you who live in our society should thank me for that. <laughs> the problem with injectables, um, there are women who will have um, constant bleeding on while well, on I, I, by injectables. That, by, that, by that time, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Let's take a call from Japan. Japan, hello. Konnichiwa. Evelyn. Hello. Yes, konnichiwa. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you fine, doll. What's going on? Hi, Mo. Hi, Hello. Casey, Dr. Hello. Gan. Hi. You are in this Tokyo? This my first time to call Whoa. on the radio program. No problem. Are you in, in Tokyo or where, where are you? Um, uh, Saitama area. Where's that? Um, it's, just, it's like uh, 40 minutes by train from Tokyo. Fantastic. Moshi moshi. What's up? Moshi moshi. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just wondering... Is it really amazing for guys when their girlfriends swallow their boyfriends come? It's not amazing. Um, like, if you didn't do it, we don't care because we've already ejaculated. Like, it doesn't feel any better if you swallow it or if you spit it out or if it goes onto the bed sheets or on your chest or in your face. It's more of an ego thing yep. than so, anything. Psychological. It's a sense that she really likes me. Yeah. Not. Yeah, it's more like, yeah, yeah like, oh my so gosh. How taking you in, um, you take, taking him in your body um, gives him the sense of, you know, uh, more than love, more than liking him. But right. I want to ask some uh, girls, like, if that, if that would happen to me, more like, because I know it's not a pleasant taste. I would not take it against you if you spit it out. You know what's a good move? Well, it's always the girl's choice, the women's choice. Right. A guy, a guy never really says, will you do... Uh-huh, I mean, yeah. I don't know many. Will you swallow this shit? Will you swallow this shit? And if it doesn't happen, they get upset. It's like... Yeah, it's impossible. It's, it's usually a bonus. Like, the girl yeah, look up and go, gulp, and you're like, oh, wow. wow. Okay, wow. Nice. Yeah, so you give, you, you'll give the guy a wow factor, but doesn't yeah. necessarily mean that you have to. 
Every time. And we have another call from Len, who's here on hold. Her boyfriend wants to, her to swallow. Is that normal for guys? Len, we'll take you right after this Japan call. All right, so is there anything else, dear? Nothing. Um, nothing. There's okay, nothing else. here's a good move. If you want, you know, you know what, a real big ego booster? I think a lot of females are under the impression that swallowing the jizz is the best ego booster for the boyfriend. It's not. You know what it is? The jizz on the face. That, that oh. is an aggressive move, but I think it's, wow. it's hidden in the desires of every man. I mean, case, right? Because yeah, there's the, but, but see, there's I would the be jizzing, laughing. There's the jizzing <laughs> on the chest. I would be laughing. There's the jizzing on the, the chest. Pa-pow, pa-pow, ha, yeah. Your face, in your face. In, the, <laughs> in your face. Ah, I would be up to it. That's, a, that's not easy, man. That's there's, not easy, man. That's not easy to do. Yeah. I, I, there, you know, listen. There's the jizzing on the chest, which is which is rock star. Right. But the machine gun firing all face. over the eyes in and the nose face. face. That's aggressive, degrading kind of shit. But I think that's like the biggest ego booster of all the guys. <laughs> I don't I don't promote it because I don't want to look like an asshole. I would totally. But but if totally if the girl laugh. yeah if the girl said can you just can you just decorate my face Sweet. I'd be like yeah. okay. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> oh fucking it's on. <laughs> I would be totally laughing through that whole experience though, because she'd be like, ah, ah, and I'd be like, da, 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 da. like da, 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 take that, take that. I'd just be like, oh my god, oh, 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 take it. Uh, in the eye. That's right. right. In my head, I'd be like, she's fucking taking it. She's taking it in the face. Yeah, it's it's thing. That's that's a big time move. All right. So if you okay. want to do that, it tastes better than than swallowing. No, I only did it to <laughs> then their one eye. guy. Yeah. Just, yeah. The Japanese guy. Eyelids get shut, stuck. The Japanese guy. Yeah. 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 How the Japanese yeah. men are they as freaking crazy about sex as as it, we appear? They appear to be. They like big bush. Well, and they cannot really. lie. And do you have to make the noises like the Japanese girls do in the <laughs> pornography? Yeah, I have to make that. You have to make that. You have to. Why? Can you do no, it? No, no, no. It's just like I want to act like that. Oh, okay. oh my god! Can you make that sound right now? <laughs> wow! Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. In, your, in, your, yeah. in your face! In your face! <laughs> yeah. And Evelyn, you're faking that the whole time, right? That yeah, noise. I'm faking it. Oh my god, the Japanese have got it so good. <sighs> All right, thanks, Evelyn. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye bye. And they like retro bush. Let's mm-hmm. go to Len because Len's uh, call is related. Len, what's up? Hello. Hi, Len. What do you, What do you got? Me? Uh, you, you already asked me before. Uh, a while ago. No, no, no. I, that, that was not me. That was someone else. What's up? Oh, hi, Mo. Hi, dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Well, I just want to ask, just curious, mm-hmm. why do men love to blow jobs? Men love blowjobs because it, it, it feels good. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, like, I, I will be honest. I mean, it's, it's, it's a nice feeling. Um, it is uh, also another ego thing, I think. Just yep. it, it, it's a power tripping kind yep. of move. It's it, it's 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 kind of just like that. Uh, but if you, in the end, it just feels nice. I mean, it's another alternative <laughs> to sex that is comparable in sensation. Oh, and one more thing. Um, kasi yung, uh, parang oh, and wait, may I add yung... real quick, man? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Case, Gian, your thoughts. What's nice about the blowjob? is you get the same to comparable sensation as intercourse and you last longer. Like the blowjob always three times longer than the actual intercourse. Yep. So you can get the same feeling of intercourse but actually have the staying power and the stamina of, of what you would want. I would rather have sex. You would. But yep. what I'm saying is if you can have sex and it's going to last you three minutes, BJ's last for ten minutes. Right. So that's another – it's just a plus. it's just a plus side on why – Blowjobs are awesome. But she's not getting anything out of this. Yeah, I know. But what if you already went down and all that stuff like that? You might want to, you know. If it's equal somehow, I'm, I'm a, you know, I'd like to please him as also. And it's it's also one of the things that, you know, you can do for guys that come out, come very easily. Yes, yes, yes. That, you know, um, they can do penetration, then for a few pumps, then stick it out and then have a blowjob and then... Um, it can prolong, then stick it in again if they want really want to come now. Yeah. Come on. Uh, Can. Okay. I'm, Can. That's an admission uh, sorry, that you don't last very long, Can. Dude. <laughs> Can. <laughs> Dude, I Dude. don't. Can. Yeah, I don't. No, I, yeah, yeah. Because that's, that's my move, Can. I don't. All right. All right and then quickly, what, next question. Yeah, one more question. Um, you about uh, pinapasok sa butt. Yeah, anal sex. Yeah. yeah, it hurts. Of course it hurts. But it's not so... Yeah, right? but, but but sa iba hindi parang sa, por- sa pornography hindi yeah. again we gotta go back to a pornography not being realistic they're used to anal it. sex hurts okay it's not oh. made for that um, no okay. offense gays it's just not made oh. for it um, it and, and stop doing it because if you don't like it listen when your body tells you that something hurts it means don't do it that's that's okay. universal it's, it's your body signal to tell you to stop 
Yeah. Well, it's also right. unnatural for a guy. So if, if a guy's doing it, or if it's unnatural for a girl and a guy. So if a guy's uh, wanting to do that to you, say, hey, hey, I got something for you. And then thumb his butt and see how he likes it. Yeah. All right. Oh. Stop okay, with the anal thanks. sex. Stop it. You don't like it. Tell him to f- stop it. All right. Thanks. Thanks for the yeah, call. Yeah, yeah. Bye bye. Thanks. No yeah. worries. Let's go to uh, Vikram, who's in India. There Vic- he is. Vikram, you're on the show. What's up? Yes. How are yes, you? I'm good. Oh, good. And where are you in India? Uh, I am near New Delhi. Near where? New Delhi. New Delhi. New Delhi. All right. Solid. What's going on? Wait, let me ask you a question. Because every night we take one to two calls from India. How do you guys come across the, the podcast? Uh, how do you guys come across what? How did you come across this show? Because we're taking so many India phone calls every day. I'm intrigued at how you get to this program. Is it because you guys are all super techie and you just find out whatever's new? Or is there a word of mouth? How did you get across this uh, uh, show? Uh, I am uh, being particular of, uh, about me. Yeah. How did I find your your program? That's right. I was just want, wondering there uh, on Facebook and uh, have seen the post about the Skype and all. Yeah. And then uh, I requested the uh, Katrina sure. on Skype. Sure, okay. Yeah, that is how I I met here. All right, great. So you have a question. What's up? Yeah, uh, that was my question. My question was uh, related with the G-spot. Sure. So what a G-spot is and how will you find, does it exist or or not? Okay, Gan, let's go medical first and then let's ask Case and myself based on experience. Gan, is there literally a G-spot on a female? I tend to believe no. I think it's, it's bullshit. But I think, or at least I think it's different for every girl and that it's, there's not an actual spot, but more a technique. Yeah, there's no specific spot. There's no, that's not even a spec- uh, scientific name for it. Um, okay. Yeah, I agree. You, every, every girl has a different position, a different place where you can find that. And um, it's up to, to you, the guy, to find out where the G spot is, but this is a more of a myth rather than a fact in the medical community. All right. Now, so uh, how how can how can one find a G spot if if someone want to find uh, that where the G spot well, well, is? Well, the Vikram, the question then should be how do I get my girlfriend to orgasm? Because that's what you want when you hit the G spot, right? It's to make them, it's to find that spot that drives them to the most amount of sexual pleasure they can get to, and that's usually yeah. found in the clitoris. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, you exactly. can almost then rename the clitoris the G spot. I mean, case is, is is this your experience? Um, I. You can always disagree, obviously. Um, yeah, I, I think the clit. Yeah, yeah definitely, it's uh, the G spot. What what happens? The, there's this there's myth little... that the, the speed okay, the okay. G spot is when you insert your finger and then you find a um, yeah, spongy, here, by the way. Yeah, a yeah. rough spongy like top of your mouth portion. Actually. Yeah, just like that. Um, right on top of, right on the roof of the vaginal canal. But this is actually, you can find this even under. Okay. Oh. And under. is that supposed to give, be very kind of pleasurable? So what it does is when you push it up, it presses on one of the nerves that um, leads to the clitoris. So it's the same oh, okay, thing. Okay. You, get, you get two kinds of sensation, the sensation of push, um, pushing it up, and then the sensation that it's, Think it thinks that um, you're stimulating the clitoris. So all roads lead to the clit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the clitoris is where you want to go. Because that's where the sensory sensory areas is. Yeah, and if no, they have a bigger clitoris, the better chance of you definitely. getting them to orgasm. And they must have a low voice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, Vikram. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, I'm right satisfied here. with your answer. Okay. All right, here you're writing all this down. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> Good boy. All right, thanks for the call, man. Appreciate it. I think it's more like finding <laughs> a, a position that they like. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's always like that. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Have a great, what is it now? It's probably afternoon. Have a great um, time. New Delhi. In India. I just think that the the Indians are so like fucking all over the internet. And they're all over like computer stuff. You know what I mean? It's just, that's what they do. There's so many of them. There's a billion of them. So Even in the medical community, there's lots of Indians. They they write the books, the the ones that we read as textbooks. Most of them are Indians. All right. Didn't didn't they write the Kama Sutra? Shouldn't he know that? Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Taking a break. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659-6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Si Marianne at si Dingdong, oh. Waiter! Sa pangasan, Meg Light, bakit? 
Pare, ano pipiliin mo? Si Marian o Abs ni Dingdong? Pareho. Si Marian o Sports Car ni Dingdong? Pareho. Si Marian o Beach House ni Dingdong? Pareho. Si Marian o Dingdong? Pareho. Ay! <laughs> Maganda ang gabi pag masaya ang usapan at mahaba-haba ang inuman. Kaya dapat magkaan sa tiyan. Sun Mig Light. Drink moderate. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, and Madrid Travel Club are giving away a trip for two to Japan. If you want to snowboard, enjoy authentic Japanese cuisine, see cherry blossoms, or experience the pandemonium of a mega city like Tokyo, then keep listening to this podcast. To qualify, like us on Facebook and the Madrid Travel Club Facebook page, too. Only fans of the two pages will be selected. Contest ends February 7th, 2011. This Japanese getaway is sponsored by Madrid Travel Club. Hey, this is Mo Twister for Tradeport.com.ph. As many of you know, my sked can get pretty hectic with a morning radio show and three TV shows, and that's Sunday to Sunday. Now, often, I can't find enough time to do the shopping I need for my everyday life. That's where Tradeport.com.ph kicks in. Tradeport is the e-mall of the Philippines. It's online shopping at its best because it's not a hassle and it's stress-free. Now, in our city, where traffic jams rule and parking is always difficult, Tradeport makes it convenient to buy what you want and have it delivered straight to your door in as fast as a single day. Payment options are vast, so visit tradeport.com.ph and fan them up on Facebook. Tradeport.com.ph, the e-mall of the Philippines. Why can't we look like celebrities? Why do they have white skin at Why do they look 10 years younger? Here's celebrity expert Vicky Bello to answer your questions. Celebrities stand out because of their one small secret. A beauty pill that combines whitening and anti-aging. Bello Nutraceuticals. Guaranteed to have 250 milligrams of glutathione. Perfectly measured to boost whitening until skin glows. And collagen that lifts wrinkles from within. So, to look like a celebrity, it only takes one small secret. Bella Nutraceuticals. Two capsules a day. It's beauty in a bottle. No approved therapeutic claims. Hi, this is Mo Twister. As an avid photographer hobbyist, I recently made the switch to Canon, and what a great decision it's been. Their line of SLRs are unmatched. My favorite being the Canon EOS 5D Mark II with 21 megapixels, auto lighting optimizer function, and full HD video capture. And on top of that, they have customer service centers in case I need help with my Canon-related inquiries. I even use their video cameras for my podcast, like their Canon XF305. It's trusted by professionals, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Canon, the lighting you always. Dati di ako makasabay. We broke through the global market and keeping in touch with foreign clients became very important. So I got my DSL Biz, yung 8 Mbps ha. Ngayon, kahit saan ka pa, Asia, Europe, America, walang problema. Lakas ng resba ko eh. My DSL Biz. This is Darius Hizon, bossing ng Pampangas Best. people who are pro-life, pro-choice, pro-this, and pro-that. For me, I'm pro-fun. That's why my friends and I enjoy hanging at TGI Fridays. They've got small plates to share and pass around and bottomless drinks that will last all night. Try it for yourself. Head to TGI Fridays now. Hey, this is Mo Twister. Catch the Blackberry Show in the name of love at Trinoma Mall on February 6th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. This is hosted by Chris Aquino. Watch your favorite stars reveal their L-O-V-E. And thanks to Blackberry for giving phones to this podcast. Trivia questions? Sees you. Walking encyclopedia to. Ako? I solve math problems in my head. I'm a walking calculator. Yun lang. Me? I have Wi-Fi anywhere. I'm a walking Wi-Fi zone. Huh? I have the new Smart Bro Pocket Wi-Fi. It fits in my pocket so I can take it anywhere. It connects my different gadgets to the web at the same time. I can Facebook on my laptop to park. Nice! Watch YouTube on my iPad to street. Cool. Or download songs on my phone now. Pukunag naman sa Smart Bro Pocket Wi-Fi. Sure. Uh, pahiram na din ng 100 bucks. Hindi ako walking ATM, no? <laughs> the new Smart Bro Pocket Wi-Fi. Plan 495 for 50 hours. Pay on time and get 5 hours free. Visit any Smart Wireless Center or accredited agent. Be free to be fun with Smart Bro. Hi, this is Lady Gaga, and you're listening to Good Times with Mo, Philippine Genius. Good, 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 good Times with Mo. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is brought to you by San Mig Light and powered by Smart Bro. Call the show, 659-6969. 659-6969. My girlfriend says she hates me. <laughs> it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by Sand Mig Light. And powered by Smart Bro. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast. 
Last, uh, probably last last 15 minutes. You good for another 15? You got it. Casey Montero is here on the program. You can follow yeah, yeah. him on Twitter at uh, Casey Montero. We also want to thank uh, a couple of people, right? Yeah, now. Gourmet Pal, thanks for uh, dropping by and giving us some uh, giant show pal. You guys can contact them. Uh, they have they have actually a spot at, in Alabang, so you can call them at zero nine one seven five two five two zero five two. That's uh, Micaela Lagdameo. She's well, that's her place. Yes, she's banging. Why she doesn't up. like me? Or her husband doesn't like me? I don't know why, but she dropped these off herself personally really? today. Oh, okay, well, thank you, Michaela. Yeah, no, that's what I heard. Sounds weird. All right, uh, let us go to. Uh, oh gosh! Oh wait, by the way, let me plug the stuff that you do, man. Uh, Casey is a uh, host of his own radio show, eight to eleven a.m. Uh, was it weekdays? Monday through Friday at uh, Wave eight nine one eight to eleven. It's called the Casey Show. Me, Cat Alano, and Scratch Mark are there, and uh, we just we're basically the nonsense show. We just don't make sense. We just have a good time. Okay. That's cool. all we do. Have and a good time. And you're on we're television? That, you know. You're at uh, Party Pina Party Pina on Sundays and uh, a new show called Techno Trip on TV5. So uh, just keep on listening and looking out for that. It's, it's, we're taping it already, so it should be coming out either. It was supposed to come out this month, but Feb, yeah. it'll, it'll be out. Also, uh, same was up to Wendell Vance. We, he's supplying the Vance tonight. And uh, GameStop.ph, if you guys uh, want to find out some cool <laughs> stuff right there. Actually, they're uh, hooking us up with the... With the, the LCD TV? Yeah, with Sweet. the TV. All right, so, so we, we have to uh, pick our color of the night as well. And we're going to do all of this in the next 12 minutes, plus go through a bunch of phone calls. So I don't know. We might be a little over time, Casey. So all good, me. man. Forgive me a little Just bit having here. a beer and kicking it with my boys. Sweet. Um, we also want to remind everyone, tomorrow on the show, Isa Calzado. Wow. Wednesday, we have uh, the new uh, San Mig light endorser. We have to keep her a secret, but that's till tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll tell you who she is. Ooh, I know who it is. You do? Yeah, yeah don't say it. Um, Can you hook me up? Oh, you like her? Yeah. Mm. You do? Yeah. You, you see her work, huh? I barely see her. I barely know. I think she gave me the wrong number. <laughs> no way. You asked for her number? Uh-huh. Oh, Are we shit. talking about the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No yeah. way. Really? Mm-hmm. Fuck it. You ask her. I've never seen her in person before. You ask her. Is she pretty? Uh, I assume. Actually, I started a club, so... All right, fair enough. Can we go to... The, let's go to the calls. God, these people have been hold fucking forever. We just lost a guy who's been on a cell phone forever as well. Oh, my so bad. So let's go to... Robert, you're been on hold for well over forty minutes. What's up? Hello. Hi. What's going yeah, on? Hello. Hi. This is hey, where you oh, talk. This is Mo? Yes, it is. Hey. Yeah. Um. Um. Well. Well, to begin with, uh, this is my situation. I'm, I'm a senior at college, sure. and I'm having a sexual relationships with my teacher. Yeah. 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 Rock <laughs> on. What school? Well, I think that's a secret. No, so. it's not, because we don't know who you are. Come on, there are a fucking ton of students. What's up? It starts with an A. And Ateneo? De Manila. Mm, it's at Ateneo. I think, well... Arellano. <laughs> well, Arellano know. doesn't stop. It well, ends here's with my Manila. problem. Oh, oh, what is it? It ends with what? Uh, sorry, what? What is your school? What, what school is it? Uh, it starts with an A. And ends it, with what? Uh, de Manila. Ateneo. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Robert, I need to know what's, what class this is also because, shit, this is awesome. What, well, what, what class? Well, I'm a bio major. Oh, my God. Really? Are they, but they're, they're, all those teachers are ugly. Uh, well, not this one, though. <laughs> Sweet. All right. What's the question? Well, first of all, it started with, like, you know, just plain sex. So I thought it was, like, sex long. And then, like, I'm, I think I'm falling in love with her. And... and Yung problem kasi is like, yun nga, it's January already, so mm-hmm. it, I'm already graduating. So, e nakatakot, like, parang if I come out too strong, parang baka... I don't think maybe. you can ever come out too strong. She's a professor having sex with a student. I mean, no, no, well, it, well, it, it is as strong around. and aggressive as, as, as you can ever get. Mm-hmm. No, no, well, there's the problem. Eh. Parang like, mukhang parang nag, nagda-die down na eh, yung parang, alam yun, yung parang... Okay, Robert, Robert, Robert. Is she married? Well, I don't think so. Okay. But you do know that this is really crazy, right? Yeah. yeah as as awesome and as, as sexy and as like like fucking just just like fantasious as it is. Yeah. It's wrong all the way through. Yeah, it can it's, backfire too. It can backfire on her more than you. Yeah. Because she's going to get screwed for this. She can lose her job. It's just wrong. Mm-hmm. It, it's ethically wrong. But <laughs> but it happens. I I had a classmate and she was a female and she was she was she was in a relationship with one of my teachers when I was in college. Okay. Ends with a ends with it starts with a D and ends with a Sal. <laughs> uh, and it was wrong. I mean, just that's what it is. So what, what, what do you need? Well, you 
niya. I think like yun niya, parang like may feelings na kasi in my part eh, so. Yeah, but that's the problem. Like that's the problem with having fuck buddies for so long. Somebody ends up falling in love. Yeah. That's that's why that's the that's the risk you it, take. It's, it's a consequence. Listen, yeah. John. I'm sorry, Robert. I just said your real name. Uh, you have to. <laughs> they, they fucking call screener put his his fake name and then his real name right next to it. Uh, Robert, you just have to know that it's gonna come to an end. You can in, if I, it's it's bad advice on my part to tell you to enjoy it for as long as it lasts till 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 graduation, but it's wrong. And it's going to end, yeah. and you're going to get hurt because you're going to miss her, and there's nothing that's going to happen between both of you. In the meantime, enjoy the sex. Yeah. Now, Gan, <laughs> motherfucker, aren't you a, supposed to be a doctor, a, a high society? Hi, Look, you're giving good advices, <laughs> and how would they know the other side of these advices, Mo? You're fucking licensed. You're going to be pulled for some bullshit like that, <laughs> and you know it. Okay. Take it back. <laughs> no, I won't. Take it back. Take it back. Oh, no, I, I, enjoy the sex. Come on, enjoy the sex. All right, fine. If you get okay, fucking, right. if your license get pulled, don't even look at me. Don't even go. Ha- have mo- fun. Okay. And how much no, do you pay him? You pay him a lot? No. No, this is all free no. for now. Yeah. All the answers, Pat. Yes, mo. Anybody in that room get paid? No. <laughs> just the pizza from Gino's. It's just right? pizza and and shop out from and shop out from like the mayo. Yeah. That's it. That's what we pay That's them. It. We pay them in fucking food. So if you get fired and, and you're doing this shit for free, don't even fucking look at you me. You must love food. Right. Do not. All right. Anyway, enjoy, Robert, enjoy the sex. It's gonna. It's gonna enjoy come to the sex. End. It's gonna come to an end. It's sex. And have it's, fun. It's gonna end up yeah. bad for you. Who knows? She might have had a sexual relationship with other students in other classes. Also. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you know, um, it's always a consequence. See, this this stuff when you get into this like these kinds of relationship, you should always think about what will happen, what what the consequences of your actions are. And, all right. and right now, you're feeling the consequence. All right. She's got yeah. you. She's got you wrapped around her fucking finger. <laughs> man. It's awesome. Ateneo. All right, Rob. Thanks, right. man. Thank oh, I want to know who this teacher. I'm going to go look at. I'm going to Ateneo's website, and I'm going to look at <laughs> the bio, biology <laughs> fucking department, and I'm looking for every girl there who's kind of good looking. There's a girl over there. Look. Uh, mm. From the chat. Oh, oh, which one is that? Okay, hold on. Uh, <laughs> Sinard, hello. Pasig, you're, you're uh, 21. What's up? Did you fall asleep? Sinard? Good. That's one less person we have to worry about. Uh, by the way, uh, Case, any caller of the night so far for you? You know, uh, honestly, you're not going to like this. Okay. But I, I, I'm because uh, I feel bad for the person. Sure. Because they have to walk around with the, the brain that they have on their head. So I'm, I'm feeling no a three-inch way. penis girl. That, that yeah. fucking girl? Yeah. Pat? Three-inch yeah, no. can you Can you call back the girl with a three-inch penis boyfriend? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Let's go like to... Little, uh, little team back there. Little Ernie, who's 23. What's up? Hello. Yeah, hi. What do you got? Yeah, I have a problem. Fire away. You've been on hold for 40 minutes, buddy. I'm sorry. Yeah, about that. I know. What's up? I have this um, fuck buddy. Yeah. Yeah, but my fuck buddy is my best friend's mom. Ooh. Mm. Nice. <laughs> How old is she? She's 40 plus. Still good looking? Yeah. She's mm. a MILF man. I don't know. I don't like MILFs. There's, a, there's no MILF in my book that's worth it, really. Never really, never really, never really. Apply. Okay, forty this year old. This is worse though. No, not 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 milfs. The cougars. I've never been a big fan of that cougar nonsense. All right. So what's the, what's up? I'd like to stop this thing that's going between us. Yeah, stop it. Guess uh, what? She's not going to tell your best friend because that's her son. So you can stop it and you can move on and no and no, and you know no one's going to find out. But no, if you're dude, what? He's going to tell my best friend. No, she's not. She won't. She, she will, will not. No, because Why that's her fucking that? son. She will. She won't. Why would she do that? Because she loves you? I don't know. No, see, it's it's she her name is going. She threatened me. That's not no. true. She's gonna She's ruin their relationship. Gonna... And by the way, does she have proof? Do you have sex tape? Do you have do you have, do you have paper trails? Yeah. What do you have? Sex tape. Where is it? Oh boy. She's with her. Fuck. She's with my best the friend. Is my son. All right. Ah. <sighs> That's why I'm afraid because she has a proof. Yeah, and he's gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah. I'll kill you. Um, hmm. Okay, so she has you hostage. Who yeah. uh, is, is it? Tell her first. What do you tell do? him first? What do you do for a living? No, he'll still no. kill her. What do you do for a living? I just graduated, man. I'm Where? Twenty two. What do you do? What do you do? Tell me. Like, what? 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 What, do you, what are your plans? Can't you leave the country? That's exactly where I'm. Pl- you <laughs> fucked up big time here. Get the fuck out of the Philippines. You fucked up yeah, big yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm planning to do. Earning you got okay. Then then start have then have sex with her till the day you leave. Yeah, let's move to Cebu. That's not in the Philippines. <laughs> That's right. And do not tell your best friend where you're moving. 
You tell them you're going to Taiwan and go as fucking far as from Taiwan as possible. Look for that day. Earning, let's let's be realistic. Yeah. You messed up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. If if the mom was on the side of reason, she would not tell her son. And then you can still live in this country. Yeah. But if she's threatening you, and I'm telling you she's not going to do it, but if you think she's going to do it, I'm sorry, you have no choice but to move out of our nation. Because oh, if I was him and I fucking found out, I would stick an ice pick in your ear. I think that I think that she might say something actually. Look, she's the type of girl that will one have sex with her son's best friend. Mm-hmm. So her her mind not will, is not totally correct. No, mm-hmm. twisted. But what happens? I mean, I I think she could say it, but I obviously I don't really think that she will. But she could have the tendency to maybe do that because she's not she's not fucking all there. Yep. Okay, er- Ernie, what do you do? What do you what are you gonna do? What was your course? Um, uh, liberal arts. Oh shit! There's no job out there for you. Hold on, let's <laughs> let's let's call this guy whose name is Michael. He's in Saudi. Let's ask him if there are any openings in Saudi. Michael. Yes, hello. All right, you live in Saudi. Yes. Okay. How's the job? Uh, the job uh, industry there. I mean, I, are there a lot of openings? Yes, we have openings for uh, executive secretary and also for. He's got it all, he knows. Uh, technician. Okay, where in Saudi are you? Al-Kobar. Okay, wherever. All right, g- get closer to your microphone so we can hear you there. We're, we, we got a guy here on the show with you simultaneously that needs a job. He's a liberal arts major. Is there anything there that might fit his, uh, his course? Yes, as long as he has experience in a secretarial position. Secretarial position. Yeah. yeah. See? Uh... Well, what's your name again? Uh, earning? Motherfucker. Yeah. That's what you got left with now because you were... Mo- that's exactly You're a motherfucker. You're a literal motherfucker. Oh, man. I'm so mad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It sucks, huh? <laughs> what liberal yeah. arts degree was this? Please say humanities. So then you're really yeah, screwed. Yeah. Humanities? Yeah. Screwed. <laughs> There's nothing for you in this world. Fuck. All right. Yeah, fuck exactly. <laughs> All right. Michael? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, hello. hello. Michael from Saudi. Okay. How, how's Saudi this time of the year? Is it fun living there? Yes, it is fun, and uh, we're somehow affected by the uh, crisis in Egypt. In Egypt, of course, because everybody wants a little bit more freedom now. The Middle East is a little volatile. Saudi, no different. All right. Hey, listen. Um, <laughs> Ernie, move to the Middle East. It's awesome. It's awesome for people like you. Yeah, I'm actually planning to, uh, to apply for an uh, international company <laughs> as a flight attendant. Okay. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, get out. Perfect, because then he can never find you. You'll always be in the air. And if you get new friends, don't meet their mothers. Yeah, all right? Come on, you fucked up. You're going to have to live with it, all right? Thanks for the all call. Right. Bye-bye. Fuck. All right, Michael Saudi, wow. what's up? What's your question? Yes, hello. Yeah. Yes, uh, my question is that is there any uh, things that affect the uh, quality of the... The what? The... Say it. Hello? Semen? Yeah, the semen. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, because what are you talking about? What are the factors that affect the quality of semen? What are you talking about when you say quality? The the the, the consistency, the taste, the strength, the color. Yeah, yeah. What, what are you looking at here? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I mean, okay, no, no, and I will ask Gan here as soon as he gets back and he's taking an emergency call here. But consistency oh. of penis, uh-huh. of penis, the consistency of semen is different. <laughs> is different per human. I mean, it some are tapioca like, some are very watery, some are large amounts, some are small <laughs> amounts. Doc, is that's true, right? Some are stickier than others. It's not. It's not a consistent um, feel. Not it, every. Not everybody jizzes the same look and the same uh, taste. The, the same. color is affected by um, the concentration of the semen. So, the the more you masturbate, the more you ejaculate, the less yellowish it becomes. Yeah, but so, when it terms of consistency, right? Mm-hmm. Like for example, Casey could have very taho looking semen, and that's normal. While I could have something very. <laughs> Watery. So this is affected by the in, the water intake that you that you do for the for that day. So before ejaculating, say you drink lots of beer, you drink lots of water, then the consistency yeah. the consistency that you'll have will be more watery, more so liquid. My, my, mine's mm-hmm. yellow all the time. Like, so if it's uh-huh. yellow, it means that you've not been ejaculating that much. Yeah, well, eight months, doc. Yeah, eight genius. months. Okay, okay. Hold on, wait up. See, it's normal. Wait, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you just got your license back. All right, continue. <laughs> the call that I got. It's another. It's for another job. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anyways. Um, <laughs> okay. So the, it's it's yellow when you don't ejaculate that much. 
it's um, more clumped. It's more like um, less watery if you don't ejaculate that much. So the more you ejaculate, the less yellow, the more whiter, the more water it becomes. All right. Thank you, Michael. Enjoy okay. Saudi. Okay. Thank you. Don't Thank worry about it. In, in other words, you're fine. Don't worry about it. it yeah. Everybody's different, and it depends on your water intake. One last call. Let's go to Remus, who is in Paranaque. You're Remus. 31. Remus. What's going on? Yo. Yo. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, it is morning now. What's up? Hello. Yes. yes, Remus. This is where you talk. Uh, yes. Uh, is this a need an advice from you, man? Sure. I just need an advice. Go. Go, go, go. Um, my girlfriend's family is planning to move back to the province. All right. And I think they're going to stay there for good. Okay. Um, and one problem is, how can I ask her to stay with me? How old is she? Uh, she's 22. Okay. So she's done with school. Excuse me? She's done with school? She's finished with college? Um, uh, she's still in college. Okay. When she graduates, she has to make that adult decision to stay in Manila and, 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 and go into the workforce. That's where the work is anyways. Remus? Remus? Hello? Yes. You have to convince... Uh, sorry, she sorry, has man, to, uh, she, I, uh, I can barely hear you. Yeah, she has to tell her family that after she graduates from college that she wants to get a job in Manila because they pay higher, there are more opportunities mm-hmm. here in the city, and that's just the way it's going to be. She is an adult. She should be able to stand her ground and not go back to the province for good when she's 23 years old. Yeah. Uh, but I guess uh, her family needs her. I'm sorry? Her family needs... Yeah, her family, 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 needs, family business? Why does her family yeah, yeah. need you? Um, she's the only one who's got to take care of her. Um, she has two siblings, two eld- older siblings, but they have their own family already. So why do they need her again? Um, to take care of them. You mean to take because they're old? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's, a f- that's the fucked up part of our, our culture yeah. sometimes, uh, man. Because they, you, mm-hmm. that's tough. Um... Hmm. They probably have. They have what their their houses are in the province, and that's why they're going there. That's where their family's from. Yeah, and so. then and the kid. with you it has something to do with them you just have to advise her that she has to be able to stand her ground as an individual as an individual that just graduated from college and has to you know uh, yeah put this. herself into the into the into society yeah all right um, another, another thing um, right now um, I'm asking her if she could stay stay here with me so what are you gonna do you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna propose to her as a forced yeah, way that, for her to- um, yeah um, that, that, that's what they're her parents want me to do. To well, marry you know, her. maybe you can propose if you feel like she's the one, but don't get married yet. I mean, still hang in there for another year or two. Yeah, yeah, and that's another problem. Just um, I'm under petition right now uh, to go where? My mom. To go where? To go to the states. My okay. mom's in LA right now. Well, then you're in a shitty situation because even if you got <laughs> yeah, a petition, <laughs> if you that's, got if you got posi- petition to go to the US, the right. then this this equation goes backwards. Now you're going to somewhere to be with your parents. Yeah, man. So yeah, you're. It's just well, fucked uh, up. Uh, uh, we have plans. Uh, after I stay uh, until I get my green card, I'm gonna bring her. That takes five school. years. Move to Saudi. Five years. <laughs> Hopefully, man. Uh, I don't know. If You'll be fucking thirty-eight by the time, and she'll be twenty-seven, 
and she would be separated well, man, for five I'm years. Thirty-one. <laughs> no, but by the time you get petition, let's just say your petition takes a year or two, right? Let's just say yeah. you'll be thirty-three. You know how long it takes a fucking green card? Five fucking years. Maybe her parents will be gone by then. Yeah, you see, it, it, this 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 situation is unfortunately. Fucked. Fucked. And that's just the hardships that we have to face here in our country. That 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 people need to leave and people and, and people need to take care of their parents and there's all these other crazy yeah. cultural things that get in the way. Someone's Choi- gonna get hurt. No choices that you have to make, but you have yeah. to make these choices. There's you know? gonna be some losses and yeah. there's some gains. It's gonna be a loss, the relationship, okay? Yeah, man. All right, thanks for the call. Bye bye. We gotta go, man. It's already two hours. All right, let's get to Giselle. Giselle, your caller of the night. I fucking case is crazy, but fine. Hello? I, yes, Giselle. Yes. Huh? See, Casey, goddamn, you're gonna reward this. Yes. Hello? Giselle. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, I you, can. You are caller of the night. You get a chance at winning a great prize. Mm-hmm. It's either a LCD TV, a BlackBerry phone, or uh, Some what shoes. is it? Some Vans shoes. So you need to pick jar one, <laughs> jar two, or she jar doesn't. three. She won't know. Oh, gosh. Basta ayoko ng shoes. Sorry, um, Vance. Guy. Wait lang. <laughs> oh, gosh. Jar... Uh, I'm going to take it back, actually. You okay, know what? I don't, I don't want you to win anymore. No, it's too late. Oh. Okay. Jar, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Jar number two. Casey, can you open it? Show what the uh, insides of uh, two is. And you have won a prize. Hello? Giselle? Yes, Giselle. Oh, yeah. What is you it? have won a LCD TV, but wow. it's not a Samsung. I don't know why it says LCD. It is not. No, because we gave away a right. Samsung. It's a different kind of LCD TV. Uh-huh. It's courtesy of? GameStop. GameStop. And, and, and their website is? And you have to follow them. It's uh, on Twitter. If you have a Twitter, it's GameStop PH. All right. You won an LCD TV from GameStop. There you go. LCD there. television. All right? Okay. Congratulations, dear. Thanks. Hello? Yes. Paano ko siya makuha? You have to come over to my house and get it. Yeah. <laughs> Three oh, <talaga>. penis, I <laughs> win. All right, Pat will, Pat will give you that information. Yes. Casey, thanks for being here, man. We appreciate it so much. You did an excellent job. You're uh, always invited here, as you know. Um, the, all the other phone calls, we'll take you guys tomorrow. We have, a, we have a guy here on hold from Singapore. And all the other people that tried calling tomorrow, Isa Casado will be on the program. Nice. Casey will be on air on the radio tomorrow at 89.1 yep, yep. at 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And You're then, of course, you can to catch tomorrow? him on TV. Me? Yeah, yeah man. I listen to you uh, on the way to work. Do you? Yep. I always have that feeling. It's always kind of in the back of my head when I see you on Twitter going, oh, the show's going to start in 30 minutes. I'm like, he's probably listening to me. <laughs> yep. And then when you leave, you have to listen to me. That's right. On the way home. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, we're made for, made for And each we other. reach around and suck our own dicks. But that's no, right. Yeah. Case, I hope you had fun. I did have fun. And uh, anytime you need a sub, I'll come in here and, uh, and do that for you. And can you tell your massive penis brother to come by as well? Actually, you know what? Fuck that guy. He ain't coming anymore. No, fuck him. <laughs> fuck fuck we, that guy. Can we have his wife here next week? Yes, she'll come in here. Aubrey Miles. You're going to ask her about it, though. Of oh, course. Yeah, because she's called my show and said that his penis is so massive that it's like it's it's made her go to the ER. I like how we start with talking about my giant, uh, my brother's giant wiener, and, and we end the show with his weenus as well. Well, that's the only thing we <laughs> yes, want you Thank you. For. You know how to make your guests feel good. That's right. No worries. Uh, Gan, thank you as well. Thank you, Mo. See you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yeah, engineer uh, Miguel, thank you. All the interns, good job. He's an engineer now? Yeah, engineer intern. Oh, from intern. He's everything. Very he's, good. he's the all around yeah, okay. guy. Thanks for the beer, by the See way. See you tomorrow in Wheeling Wheeling. Yeah, Wheeling. Yes, tomorrow on Wheeling Wheeling, I'll be hosting again. Yeah. And uh, good job, all... by the way, Karina. Whoo! Yeah. He's, he's good, good, right? With that old guy who. Uh... <laughs> yeah, he got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. He tried to fight you. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye bye, everyone. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was brought to you by San Mig Light. Executively produced by Mohan Gumata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media E. Special thanks to Dr. Gan Montenegro, Larry Carlat, and Magic 89.9. <laughs> Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is a Battle Axe production, recorded at the Smart Bro Studios in Manila, Philippines. You can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com. Website www.motwister.com